Oh, I forgot to clean. Open the shears. Let me open the shears. Good morning, everyone. Give you a minute here to jump on in. We got a day, ladies and gents. We got a day ahead. 800 players. Your chip leader is yours truly. I quit. I didn't play any more flips yesterday. I was over it. I'm done. I'm like, listen, buddy. The hell? Oh, I don't have nearly as many chips as I thought. I thought I had like 2,700 big blinds. <laughs> but uh, it's actually 450, which is still plenty. But not nearly as many as I thought. What are the blinds there? 1,500? What the hell? 1,500? Huh? Hmm. 1500. Just checking this. What's going on here? Info. All right. Mm -mm. You see here, I thought I had. The blinds are 1500. And I got 270,000. That's supposed to be 2,700 big blinds. We'll figure it out. Whatever it is. Either way, we're chip leader, as you can see. Felipe Ramos, he grinded. He's got 154,000. Played a lot of them. Big stacks abound. What is the shorties? The shorties. Well... The way that it works is you can play as many as you want. So obviously we're going to give ourselves the best chance to win. And we're starting off with a nice big juicy stack. Oh man. Yep. Flip and go. That's all we're doing today. We got the shirt ready. We got Doyle, Puggy, Slim, and Moss. You can buy those at Contenders Clothing as well. Contendersclothing.com. We got the t-shirts. It's a Sunday. It's a flip and go day. I gotta figure out what's going on with this chip thing. Why does it say 450 bigs? I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hmm. Because from where I'm looking, you see what I'm seeing, right? It says blinds 50 and 100. Okay? Nice. And then I got 270,000. So, that's so what are we talking about here. What are we talking about here? Take my seat. Oh, where did I take my seat? There's my seat. All right, let's fix this table up. Boom. Done. Table. Let's go to flip and go. Done. Let's build this table out. Big, but not too big, so you all can see. How's that? Is that good? Or a little bigger? Find out. Okay, it's saying I got 450 bigs. So I don't know what's going on. The blinds are not... The blinds are 3 and 600. Okay. Well. Well. I don't get it. Don't get it. But I'm going with it. Because it's level 11. Level 11 we start at. What abs? Three and six. I was. I thought I had so much more. I might have kept going. That's fine. Look at this. We're we're big pimping here with four hundred fifty. All these little shorties here. But I really, yeah. Okay. I didn't realize we start day two at level eleven. Hmm. What's the average stack? Average stack is twenty four thousand. We got two seventy. It's fine. Okay. I'm ready to play. Deal me in. Yeah, 
King and a six can fold that one. Right? Don't want to raise this one on the button. Nah, tight is right. Just play tight. Do, 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 do. What's up, people? What's up, people? Here we go. Off we go. Buna dimineața, Daniela, zis micro amazi. Buna, that's Romanian, y'all means good morning ace 10 suited don't mind if i do it it's coming for 2.5 why not right why oh he's call, he's raising i'm just gonna call why not let's see what does he got this is the okay he does have a couple trophies where's the winnings at hmm that's not us Got backdoor diamonds, backdoor straights, backdoor this, backdoor that, front door this, front door that. He's checking. Okay, you wanna check? I'll check. It's fine. You check, I check. He checks. Oh, I have the best hand. But I will check. And that's a bad card. Now we don't beat king, queen, queen, jack, queen, ten. And we don't beat any pairs. We don't beat any slow played hands. We beat an ace nine, ace deuce, ace three, king jack, king ten, king nine suited. Okay, well, check and pray. Fours. Oh, a lot. <laughs> he was not. See, he didn't check to me because he was being friendly. He checked to me because he had ideas. He was going to do bad things to me. No. Didn't fall for it. Okay. All right, we got 10 minute blinds, I believe. Yep, 10 minute blinds, so it'll be a quick one. We will finish this one today. What's it say? 789 players, yours truly, the chip leader, playing fantastic. <laughs> How many binds did I make? I don't know. I truly do not know. I just kept doing them for a while but yesterday yes jason waterfalls i read the chat all the chats let me see if the table's good size let's see if this table looks about the right size no, i haven't started yet Andy Whitehall, will there be a Remembrance Tournament for Doyle? Good luck. I don't know. Sounds like a good idea, though, doesn't it? My uh, agent, Brian Balsbog, my agent and friend, Brian, he set up the event for Doyle when Doyle passed. The sort of celebration of life. And one of the things he did is he tried to push forward and get everybody, you know, connected to saying, let's make October 2nd in Las Vegas or wherever, October 2nd, which is 10-2. Let's make that Doyle Brunson day. And so who knows, maybe that'll happen. Looks like you've put the weight on. No, not really. Maybe it's just the beard. No. Still, you know, 165. I did get down one time, I have a picture. I just wanted abs one time. I got down to 138.6 during COVID. Just ripped, 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 ripped. It's like, I think my best weight is 155. It's a good weight. But how he has 450 blinds. I'm good, that good. Right? Boom, 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 boom. Dun, 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 
question. What are the prize jumps? Let's see. So we're already in the money, right? Because that's how these flips work. Guaranteed $426. That wouldn't get me even. What's first prize? $122,000? That might get me even. Thank you, Merso Legenda. Wishing me luck. Hmm. KGB472. What happened to the 2,000 big blinds? Yeah, I, here's the deal. I thought the level was starting at level 1, right? Which would be 1,500 blinds. But actually, it starts at level 11, which is 300, 600 blinds. So, I'm still doing good, but not nearly as bonkers as I thought. Imagine that, 2,000 big blinds in a tournament. Hard to punt off 450. It can be done. It can be done. We are in the next level jump now. What is the average? The average is 35 big blinds. The key now, really, is with the stack size we have, it's enough to get really deep. So there's no need in just like spewing or trying to like win an extra 10 bigs here by going bonkers, whatever. You can just uh, hang on, really. Hang on, hang on, hang on. V Logic Gaming, are you not worried of people knowing your hands? You know what? I know they're all looking at my cards face up, but I'm that good that I feel like even if they can see my cards in real time, I can win. What are the guidelines for ordering lunch today, Sizzle Wizzle? Ha <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. What are the guidelines? I don't know. Some Probably just go back to Chickpea, man. That place has been solid for me. <laughs> I think we might add a pillow. Just why not? Middle of the back has been a little bit... Middle of the back has been a little bit, you know, something. So we'll add a little pillow, a little cushion. How about that? Oh, that feels nice. Yeah, why didn't I do this before? Well, it's not too late. We're on day... Why does the sleep thing never go off? Put on a pair of socks, a little chili in here, get a little pillow in it for the long haul. How much did I put into this tournament? I don't know. I, I don't know. I have never looked. I just, well, I started out saying, okay, let's build a big stack. And I didn't play all of them yesterday and today because they had them like near the end. They had them like every 10 minutes or something. Just boom, boom, boom. For those last minute degens who wanted to build their stacks. What is my cheat meal? Uh, I'm just gonna fold, buddy. You go ahead. I'll watch. I'll watch as you do your thing. Oh, what was that? Hmm. Yep. Aces and sevens, huh? Well, probably. Oh no, I might not have one. Look at that board. Seven, eight, nine, jack. Three spades. All the things. Alexandru Ilescu. Salutare din România, Daniel. Auleu. Sunt mulți români aici, apăceat acum. Are you playing only one tournament? That is correct. We are, this is just flip and go day. This is all we're doing today. Flipping and going. How'd I get so many chips? I played amazing. Okay, that's the short answer. That good. 
It's too early to do chip leadery things, guys. There's not pay jumps or bubbles or stuff to worry about until we get to like final, well, final table. I can do some things, but it's gonna be a minute before we get there. But we're gonna get there. Just fold. How good is GG Poker software? It is the best software. I mean, it's super fun. You got all the bells and whistles. Oh, look at that. You see in front of my name? There's that one, like the belt right there. That means one, we are chip leader. <laughs> chip leader. Jax, okay, I can play this one. I know that's a big raise, but we got big chips. I'm not worried about rinky dink. I don't care if they're short. Effectively, we're playing 27 big blinds deep because of the big blind. But if he wants to put all his chips in, I'm more than happy to take them. <laughs> no. All right. Chip leader things. Raising with jacks. Playing tight. Let me get a blankie. So I've been watching the Toronto Blue Jays games while I'm here. You know, it's on the TV. And yesterday, I was like, all right, let me watch this first first inning. Oh, wow, 4 nothing, Nice. They left a couple on base, whatever. 4-0. That's a good start, right? 5-0. Yeah, 5-1, five five okay. 5-2, whatever. What? They lost? It's crazy. Against the Colorado Rockies? Come on, bro. Okay. We got a blankie. We got a Contenders Clothing t-shirt. There you go, contenders. Okay. Because we're contenders today. Would you rather get stuck on a deserted island with Phil Helmut, Tony G, or Chris Bjorn? I'm trying to think logistically what makes the most sense. Chris Bjorn. Chris Bjorn is the answer. There's a lot of good Lebanese food and different things down here. Matthew Green, you wouldn't believe it. So many great places. All kinds of different falafel joints. I love me some falafel. We had 13,267 entries. 13,267 entries. $100 entries. Tight is right. Ryan Austin says, you and Ivy should play heads up. We did play heads up once on TV for a million. I won that one. Oh, salat de vinete da. Plach farte mut. I was actually looking at some recipes for vinete. What is vinete? Vinete is a very famous Romanian dish. And essentially it's eggplant. What you do is you roast them, like full. Roast them, get them all like burnt up on the outsides, so whatever, then you take off the skin. Then the, the inside, it's like, you know, mushy kind of eggplant thing. And then you chop it up. My mom said always chop it with a wood mallet. You chop, chop, chop it up nice and you know, small and fine or whatever. Then you put some onions, you put some garlic, you put some oil. Uh, what else do you put in there? I don't, know, I don't know. Salt, I guess, whatever. Then you mix it up. It's this nice little eggplant salad. Then you take a nice piece of rye bread, right? You put the vina on top of there. You put some tomatoes on top. I'm going to fold this one. You put some tomatoes on top there like that and you just eat it like that. Oh, it's good. There's another Romanian dish that I was looking up because I want to do. It's called salata de buff. And salata de buff translates, it's not what, um, what it is. It's like salad of beef, right? But it's not. 
it's like this concoction of like well you people can use chicken or beef and then egg and whatever but I, I can substitute that with like tofu and faux chicken if I wanted to but the main key to it is like peas carrots pickles small potatoes right all like diced in little things and the key mix is like it's basically like mayonnaise mustard with all that stuff and you mix it in real good put a little layer of whatever mayo on top if you want add some olives on top you'd be surprised how tasty it is very simple dish multabafta oh now we're doing romanian mornings all right it's a it's early on so the v-pips don't matter yet but i'm gonna definitely take a flop with this ace three of spades oh yeah that's what, that's what we're looking for right king queen six all hearts Woo. this makes it easy Yu Hang Chen has won a GG Masters. So in that case, I'll fold. We're losing, guys. We're losing. We started with, look, 270,000. I'm down 4K. Come on, Dean Eggs. Get it together. Thanks, Luke Boily. Wife and I are good. We watch, uh, we've been watching this new show. I don't know if it's not new, but we've been into it. We're on season three now. Uh, it's called The Affair. It's with, if you guys watch The Wire, um, remember Jimmy McNulty, who was in The Wire? He was the main guy there. So he's the main character in this one. And uh, it's called The Affair, and it's kind of about an affair, but it grows into more stuff. Hmm. So, Amanda just, that's one of her favorite things to do. It's like, get a laptop, lay in bed in a hotel. We watch shows together. It's our QT, quality time. But I did walk the streets yesterday. I like going to new cities, walking around to the point where I get lost. And I don't know where I am. I love that. It's super fun. And then trying to figure out, okay, how do I get back? And yes, and I, I haven't really gotten lost because I've been I've a pretty good, you know, brain for that. But yesterday I sort of did. I walked all the way down to BC Place which is the, you know, where the BC Lions, the Vancouver Whitecaps, where they have the concerts. It's their big, you know, arena stadium. So I walked over there. Okay, nice little fun area. Then I was like, all right, I'm going to go right around this way. Then I'm like, oh, shit, I'm kind of on highway here. It don't feel right. I and mean, then I looked ahead where it's going. I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's it. So I had to go back, go backwards, turned around, made my way home. Have I been to Tarantino's lately? That's in Las Vegas. I'm in Vancouver. I haven't been there. I just order from there. I've never been there. Just order from there. I'm going to tell you the truth, Stephen DeMuro, who said you should be a Phillies and Eagles fans. And this, no, no disrespect, okay? No disrespect. Just telling you how I see it. Philly fans are like top of the line most obnoxious fans <laughs> that come on go on the road they go on the road and they give you these I'm like buddy you're in our place they don't care hard working people i know rough and gruff you got the uh philly fan but you guys can be a little much you know what i'm saying you know you know what i'm saying it's true you guys are like aggro and whatnot just saying did i win king jack Take it down, Dean Eggs. Take it down. Take it down. Tight is right. Hang on to these chippies right here, eh? Tracy Chaput says, How did you lose 60 blinds without playing a hand? Let me explain. Let's use our brains here, right? So my stack didn't change, right? If you look at the stack, same. What happens is, you have a certain number of big blinds, right? Imagine you double the blinds. So the blinds are twice as big. Well, now you have half the number of big blinds. So your stack would cut in half. And these, these blinds go up more incremental that, but it gives you the idea. You know what I'm saying? That was the Shark Cage, Tur Shark Cage Tournament uh, boxed, baked garbage. <laughs> boxed garbage. That I beat Phil Ivy in. Hmm. Brian Fedoric, what do I think of the Pens getting Eric Carlson? I think here's the deal, right? I think for them and where they're at, it makes 
all the sense in the world. You got Crosby, you got Malkin, you got Latang, you got an old crew. There will be a day of reckoning, and they had that before after Mario. When they when they got Mario Lemieux many years ago, the team was terrible. He you know threw changed the franchise. Then they sucked again. Then they got Crosby. They did the same thing. They won the draft a couple years in a row. That time is coming to an end soon. So these guys, this is your core. You give them a couple more shots at winning a cup. Now listen, does it make them a favorite to win the cup? No, but. You know, you never get worse by adding Eric Carlson to your team. And the guy had 100 points last year in San Jose. Okay, pair of sevens. Pair of sevens. What do you mean there's no garlic in the Salata Divina? Today? I saw garlic. You can make the recipe with garlic. What's this dude doing? All right, let's take a flop with the sevens. He's got 45, 47, 48 big blinds. He's the, he's gonna have king high, queen high, jack high type hands, you know, Broadway combos. So just because an ace is there doesn't mean we're done. We do have a diamond in our hand. He's betting small as we'd expect. We're gonna check raise him on the flop. Check raise. If he has the ace, we got problems, right? If he doesn't have the ace, he's gone. He's going home, right? So we just check raise. Boom. Find out. Old school players would have said, finding out where you're at, right? That board, we rep represent a lot of stuff. Having the seven of diamonds is valuable because we block seven, eight, seven. We block some flush draws that he might continue with. The, the issue with our hand, too, is that... Um, we want to deny equity with sevens because there's a lot of bad turn cards, right? If I had kings in that same spot, let's say, for example, I slow played them, I have no reason to raise the flop because I'm not worried about a queen or a jack coming and beating me. With two sevens, I got to worry about an eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. There's a lot of outs. I don't know which one he's got. Could I describe my ideal meal, SF Womper? Well, it depends what I'm doing. If I'm having food for fun, you know, that's one thing. If I'm having food for diet, that's another. But I'd say, like, my ideal meal, one I enjoy the most, is, like, some sort of appetizer, whether it's a Caesar salad or something like that. Then, like, a chicken, fake chicken, you know. Um, let's see, hold on. Like a fake chicken parmesan, a little bit of angel hair pasta on the side, all right, with some white wine, nice pasta, a little parmesan on top. And then uh, a fake Parmesan, of course. And then uh, for like some side, a nice, you know, chocolatey dessert or something. Some kind of dessert. All right, let's go. Quarter pot-ish. Three queens. All right, if you have ace 10, buddy, you just, you just get all my money. It's fine. Do we just jam here? I think that's the move. Just a jam. He called. He has ace-10. Not the start we wanted. Nope. <laughs> Flopped the set of queens against the ace-10. And we didn't improve. All right. Good news is, is we still have... A lot of chips to, to work with. What was I supposed to do with that hand? I just got fucked. That's all. Oh, well. That's why we start with so many. So we can fade shit like that. Hmm. Needed a board pair, didn't we? Small probing bit. Button Libre is playing tight so far. All right, he folds. Are you going to come with us again? No, sweet. Okay, we'll take it down with a nice little pro bet. How many chips do I have? Yeah, that was really unfortunate. Three queens. I mean, what did you want me to do with that one? Would I do Survivor? Steve Tarantino asks. I had an opportunity to do that years ago, but it's during the World Series, typically. During the World Series, is tough. Libra's three-betting me. Libra's playing pretty tight. I mean, it's early. 
but I think I'm just gonna let this one go. Go ahead. Oh, fuck me, man. Why do I look? Aces in the nut flush draw I would've had. Let's see, what is Libra? What's your story, Libra? You got 568,000 winnings on here. Three queens, huh? Yeah, literally a pot size bet on the turn. Left. Well, it's, it's just a jam. I wonder what it likes. I'm going to run that hand for fun. Okay. Let's see. What was that hand I had here? What was the hand? We're going to go back to the queen's hand. I want to run it just to see. I mean, it's obviously pretty standard, but just for my own curiosity's sake, I'm curious if the hands do anything different. What is it? Eight-handed. Eight-handed. All right. 400, 800. He makes it. 1750, 1760. Oh no, that's the wrong hand. Wrong one. Queens, I said. Makes it 1680, whatever. 1680. 52. 52. 272. King. Oh, what is this? All in here? No. Okay, so King Club. Queen heart, Jack spade. That thirty-three eighty-seven. Seven. I think he's probably supposed to raise me, son. Limp, limping is pimping. Uh, there's a king. I bet one chip. As we would with a lot of trashy hands here. If he has a queen or a five, we figure we'll get him for a couple streets of value. We do not. 33.77. And the turn is a eight of spades. 20,000. 198. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that was an unfortunate hand, eh? Oh, queen, queen, queen on the flop. It looked good. Those queens have been ugly for me. Yesterday we had that big queen's hand with eight against eight nine. Hmm. This is a good flop. This time I don't mind checking. Because we want them to catch up. And if I have an ace, if they have an ace, I figure I'll get two streets of value. Alright, that's a very good turn card in a lot of ways. If they have an ace, I should be able to stack them. Also, if you had kings, queens, or jacks and you were the opener like Valdemir, you might actually feel good about that. Like your your hand is good, right? Let's, let's get let's get him. He's betting 5.6. I'm gonna just call. Okay. And then if the river's at eight, you know, we get away, if you will. We don't get away, we get away, but like, he's calling turn. Mm. Uh, now I'm gonna raise. Because one of them's more likely to have an ace now. With a bet and a call, it's a little more likely one of them has an ace. I mean, they don't have to. They could have just like an eight and then two jacks or whatever, but I wanna get it all in. And if I call here anyway, it's pretty suspicious. Like, what am I just checking back the flop and just calling turn with what? Nines? No. It's pretty obvious that if I play for any price, I'm going to have something. He's re-raising. Okay. Hmm. He has an ace. We just have to hope he doesn't have ace eight. He have ace eight? I'll just put it in. Whatever. He called? No, don't have ace eight. 
the fuck is going on? Holy shit, man. I mean, what the fuck? You see the two hands I lost? Flopped a set of queens, lost to a straight. Flopped a set of sixes against two pair. Guy makes a fucking full house. Yikes, man. Holy shit start. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, all right. Well, I guess we're back. We're still chip leader with all those pots we lost. But they're catching up now because holy fuck. What the fuck? All right. Well, you gonna have you gonna have something on this board? We're going big. It's because of the texture of the flop. We go big usually on a eight three deuce. We have range advantage with over pairs. We have straight flush draw. I would have made the nut flush. We folded. Holy shit! The guy has fucking ace eight. All right. What in the world? Ace eight six flop. Yikes. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. Gotcha. What in the fucking world? I guess we would have lost to 8 8 as well. Hmm. He only had 20 bigs left. Like, what am, what am I just not going to put 20 bigs in? What a fucking full house? Yikes, man. Well, whatever. Listen, we still have 200 big blinds. Still the chip leader. It's just a not, a, not an ideal start. Mm. Mm. What a couple of hands there. What How many chips do I have, actually? So we lost 70k almost in chips. Jesus. Jesus. Terrible start. Sitting here playing the nuts. Set of queens, set of sixes. Beat by a straight, beat by a full house. All right. Okay. I see how I see how it's going to be. I see how it's going to be. Chefach Chuaro Satirbasa Andre. Andre Satirbasa. I don't know if the names go backwards or what. Now we have to reset, right? Because we're very, obviously, very frustrating start and the, the, with those two cool, like, ridiculous hands. Just, just what the fuck, right? Um, but listen, we have to reset and realize, like, dude, we have 200 bigs. Average is 33. We're, like, massive chip leader. You know? Can someone explain why he folds ace nine so often? Is it considered a bad hand? Everything is situational, guys. Every hand is situational. Right? So look, think imagine you have ace nine, okay? First guy raises, second guy goes all in, third guy goes all in. Is ace nine a good hand now? What do you think? Probably not. Okay. Now, everybody folds the small blind. He has six big blinds. He goes all in. You're in the big blind, you have ace nine. Is it a good hand? Yes. So every, anytime you think of a hand as good or bad, it's always situational. Even like two kings. Two kings is a fantastic hand. It's a great hand, right? But if three people go all in, they're all super, you know, really good pros before you, and they're all in before you, then your kings are, you know, in like say for 100 big blinds or more or whatever. What do I got, two tens here? Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. gonna call and if it goes jam jam behind I'll fold okay well we're not folding now but geez we don't love it I mean actually never mind we do it's like whatever he has ace king ace queen he also has big pairs you know there's 
Wow, he's betting big too. I mean, am I just cooler than fucking every hand? Nine bigs, he's got 20 more. Okay, well, I don't fucking... You got kings? <laughs> what the fuck, man? I almost folded preflop, for real. What a start. What a start. I almost folded preflop because the raises came from such early positions. What is happening? We are getting pummeled. Still chip leader. And we've lost heaps. Lost 100k. What is going on here? <laughs> Whoo! Nine high flop. Okay. Tens against jacks. Cool. Bag and I, bag and I, bag and I. steam coming out of my ears right now. I'll take it. Back in that bag again. What a start, right? Like, just fucked. <laughs> yeah, okay. Queen swap the set, lose to ace 10. Six swap the set, lose to ace 8. Tens cooler against jacks. Almost fucking folded. God, this is going really bad. I would have I would have been doing better if I just slept in. Yeah, we play to a winner today. Ten minute levels. Let's go and wait for it. You're fishing right now. I fucking played a set of queens and I played a six. What are you talking about? I'm fishing. I'm fishing. I had the nuts. Except I didn't. <laughs> fucking fishing. The fuck, man? Fishing. Stupid fuck. Fuck. Tilt. <laughs> Shit. All right, got 170,000. All right, now things are going to turn. Everything's going to go good. Now we're not even chip leader anymore. This is a dude with runner one has the chip lead. That didn't take long. Some shorties behind. Dun, dun. Got a bag again. Back in that bag again. Back in that bag again. It's a really good flop for fives. I'm going to bet two. Or no, I'm going to bet half pot, actually. No, I'm going to bet it all. You have a seven or a six, you win. For now. You have a seven and a five? That's fucking cute. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? We've lost every single hand we've played all in. Fives against seven five this time. And he's a short stack, thankfully. But my goodness, bro. What the fuck? Woke up this morning, fresh and ready to run hot. That's not what's happening. Hmm. Two 
fives, seven five. I had a diamond too. I hope you're right there, Bogdan. He says you play a lot of these and you run bad early and then you just win every pot when it matters. Okay. Hope you're right. Because now we're like third in chips. We're fading fast. Losing every big pot we play. And you and like I did I came in here saying, alright, I'm playing nuts. I got the nut like set, set. Tens. Well, the tens was more iffy, but like I guess the tens was more iffy. fives against the shorty <laughs> what the hell man hey mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank you eric clifford ba -na 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 -na. All right, reset the mind. We're third in chips with 500 left. Yes, we're doing great. Fantastic, right? Boom, shift it. Breathe. Good news is we lost them to shorts. You know, nobody had like a big stack of chips because if that happened against anybody with big chips, you know, you're in really bad shape. Na 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 na. AC Doocy suited against Cream. This is a jammable hand. But the way things been going, you know. Let me just take a flop with them off that stack size. Peso? Mm -hmm. Bankroll? Roll, roll. Bankroll? All right. Well, what are, what are we what are we up against now, guys? What are we up against now? Ace Queen. <laughs> tat it up, tat it up. Bankroll, slow roll, bankroll. One chip. One chip. This is my patented one chip minimum bet. Go ahead and raise me. I'm not folding. You got six, seven, bro. You're going to get my money. Queen nine. Okay. You might have called a little bit more, but the thing is, when that board runs out the way that it does, there's very few hands where, like, I'm betting a decent amount that I have nothing. If that makes sense. Like, I six, seven gets there, whatever. Deuce three suited. Like, there's not a lot of pure bluffs for bigger size. Not a ton of them. So I might as well just take the one chip and move move on. We won a pot. Hey, a big pot. We won one chip on the river. Hey, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey. Look at that. Big pimpin'. Oh, we're chip leader again. Look at that. Boom. One little pot and we're chip leader. Back to back back to where we belong. 160. We started with 270. I should have bought more chips. <laughs> da, da, da. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. I will open this if it's folded to me. Ba ba bum. Da da da. Do do do. Do do do. All right. So we got Libra in the big blind. Libra. I mean, what? How many hands do we have? 48 hands. Still pretty tight. 15%. We have open and straight draw. That's a good proceeding. I'm gonna go big. 
going big on this flop. Did we make it? Nope. Oh, well, we made a 10. It's probably good. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Blinds are up. Blinds are up again. Queen do suit. I'm going to open this one too. It's folded to me. Pedal to the metal a little bit here. Open it up. Okay, I can fold. Hundred and sixty-six. Go take a coffee. <laughs> that said, I had a coffee already. Da da da. Here, someone said tragic clips. If you really, if you people really think these are punts, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, what, what punt? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it is a nice spot here, isn't it? I'm on 44. It's a beautiful city here. Downtown Vancouver. That's where we are. Vancouver, Canada. David M.R., can you sing the Phil Helmy song in Hebrew? You know, you know the song. I'm not going to sing it now. The Phil Helmy. That's funny that it's called the Phil Helmy song. Now. For those that don't know, I speak a little Hebrew too for fun. And I know a song. I know a song. It's not a nice song, but I, I sing it sometimes. Have I ever seen Nirvana in concert? That's a random question, Mr. Adam White. And the answer is no, I've not. Uh, I'm glad I am amusing you, Hugh Sack. Hi, Daniel. How do you manage to overpass those bad beats? Yeah, we just deal. Breathe. I took three breaths. We're good to go. That's it. Hair's looking good. I got the new hairspray. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. Slick. Slick look. Let me see. I feel hard? Oh, yeah. This shit's good. Well, it's better than my spray. Way better. I bought, I bought a spray yesterday walking in. Shopper's Drug Mart. Walking around the city. 471 players left. All in the money. How'd I grow all my hair back? I'm 30 and bald and what luscious looks like you. That's funny you talk about hair. Cause, so, yeah, it is a good hair day. Um, so I didn't grow it back. I did an F-U-E uh, movement transplant thing. So it's not hair plugs where people don't know. What they do is they like, there's two ways. They cut a piece of the back of your head out so it leaves a scar. I have a scar back here. And they take the follicles and they plant them up top. So then your actual hair, the follicles grow up here. You know, the first two weeks they start to fall out and you're like, what the fuck? It's not what it's supposed to happen. And then they, it grows back nice and nice and thick eventually. Now they do another process called FUE, which, you know, some may say is not as effective, but there's no scar. And what they do is they just take individuals from all over here, do, 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 and then they do it like that way. This guy, he, he old school, he cuts a strip out and just takes the strip and then blah, 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 takes an afternoon. And then, uh, you, uh, you know, you wait four to eight months and voila, full head of hair. I will also recommend a product to you. If you have like somewhat thinning hair or whatever, you know, and you just want to like make it look a little thicker, there's a product called, you can buy this anywhere. It's called Topic, T-O-P-P-I-K. It is an old school Hollywood secret. And essentially what Topic is, it's the little hair fibers. You match the color and then you like, like a salt shaker, you just go like this. And then you put the salt, and then it's just like the powders just can sort of connect to your hair and make it look thicker. It works. Ooh, 
Hmm, Mo Cannon, how much to buy a Tupperware with your fart in it? I'll make you a good deal. Thank you, Verse Steven. I'm going to relax and enjoy the tournament. I will call this all in right here. This is what we were talking about earlier. Is Ace, is King 10 a good hand? Well, it depends. It's okay against a small blind jam. I'm going to say good luck to him. Good luck. He has King 5. We have King 10. There's a 10. That's going to be hard for him to win. But he can chop it with a jack. No jack. Where'd the jack go? GG. Thank you, thank you. All right. What do we got now? I just want to see my actual stack. Because I started with 270k. We got a new tier number. So we're back at 180. Whatever. We still got the chip lead. We're back in the chip lead. But everybody, there's a bunch of guys with 150, 100, over 100k now. Okay. Drink a matcha. Amanda can tell you a story about selling weird stuff. When she was broke, young, early 20s, her and her friend were like, this is a thing, isn't it? People like want to buy dirty panties or something. <laughs> like people, there's people out there, man. They'll be like, can I buy your dirty panties? <laughs> My watch is telling me to be more present today by starting with a moment of mindfulness. No. <laughs> There's a, he's, he has a, he has an out seven or an eight. Oh, he could have hit a six, seven of hearts, or an eight. Big, big hand. Jack five is going to be fold. All right, what do we got left? Four hundred and thirty players. Four hundred and thirty players. Six hundred and fifty. See, the money jumps are quite small at this stage, so there's no real. Everybody's already in the money. There's no bubble. So there's no, like, you know, oh, you can use your big stack for leverage. You just have to play the game properly. And we have been playing properly, but... I should have fucking folded those tens, huh? Josh Levy, how's the vegan scene in Vancouver? Amazing. Amazing. We'll be ordering food here in a little bit. I'm not even that hungry yet, but we'll be ordering food in a little. Going on break here any minute. Um... This place, Chickpea. I've ordered from there a bunch. It's been everything I've had there has been amazing. Break in two minutes. Two minutes. Have I ever been to Atlantic Canada? Where even is Atlantic Canada? Thank you, J Johnny Turner. I have a good relationship with most everybody away from the table. Uh, that was the question I was asked. Is there a poker rivalry? You know, poker table's different. But, yeah. Tom Zeitzer. No, that's not how it works. I didn't lose 200 big blinds in 30 minutes. The blinds go up. So the blinds started at 300, 600. Now they are 1,000, 2,000, or 800, 1,600. Why do I look younger now than I did 10 years ago? Probably I had a glow up. My wife, she's big on glow up. She, she knows all the things to do. Got the hair, you know, full head of hair now. We got the beard. She likes the beard. There's a little bit of grays in there, but if, if you look close, depending on the lighting. Mm. Yeah. The Muno Witch, any must do's in Vancouver? I don't know. I've really just been walking around the city. I haven't done anything. I've just been streaming and doing that. 
Congrats, Andy Gabs. Just won an 800-person, $150 buy-in tournament. You're on your way. You're on your way. Go get them. I just want to get back my chips that I started the damn tournament with. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Average is 29 bigs. Still doing good. 112. And we're going to go on a quick break. Five minutes. Be right back. Come play with Dean Eggs. Russian Cash. Wednesdays and Fridays. This week.
don't see any rain on the ground at all. If it was, it'd be drizzling. Because it is gray, but it's not raining. One minute, one minute remaining. It's one minute. Here we go. There's the table. There's the situation. All right. All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. Dun, 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 dun. Andrew H. No, I don't think that's going to happen. We're not going to go back with blonde frosted tips and a, and a goatee. Because I always had a goatee. Everyone thinks like, oh, you don't have a... I always had a goatee, at least. Hmm. I'm going to take a look at food. Cheese or anything. Slava Ugani. My own face here. I'm not much of a... Not really quite used to doing the webcam thing, but they know it's worth a, worth a shot. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. Okay, blinds are up. We got 90? Let the blinds go up again? Oh yeah, every 10 minutes. <laughs> so they're 1 and 2K. Yeah. This tournament's going to be over in a minute. Before you know it, it'll be down to the final table. 10 minutes is kind of turbo-ish, right? Well, it is turbo-ish. Should I look at food yet right now? Or wait a minute. Oh god, this fucking guy again. Block you, buddy. What is our average stack looking like? Twenty three bigs. Okay, so twenty three bigs. We are still the chip leader with eighty eight. Man, this is gonna go quick, huh? Yeah. Gonna go quick. Hmm. This can be a fold. 9-5 offsuit. This is not a good hand. Not a good hand, but against... I gotta limp. Limpity limp, limp, limp again. See what happens. If you raise, you take it, buddy. That's it. You raise, you take it. All yours if you want it. I've been playing pretty snug. Alright, I'm going to actually check this flop with the pair of nines. If I didn't have anything, I'd probably bet. Pair of nines, I'm going to check call. Oh, we're going to bet one now. He's got a six he might pay. You might pay one with a six, huh? No? Alright, I'll take it. Sweet. Oh, another six would have come. Ooh. Mm hmm. Garrick Sissons, how often is one supposed to 3-bet sixes on the button for sidejack open? Type line folds, ace-8 to 3-bet, but do you want blind... Uh, sixes isn't typically the type of hand you want to 3-bet with. Just, it's about when you're 3-betting people, you want to choose wisely in terms of what hands 3-bet. Sixes is just well, overall off those stacks, it's a little better flat. And, you know, your 3-bets can be hands like ace-3 suited, maybe some king suited, some offsuit king-queen, king-jack, those kind of hands. But sixes, sixes, you end up putting yourself in some tough spots if you do three bet and they jam, right? Like you're gonna end up making some bad folds, if you will. Seagull has not come back yet today. But I, sh I assume we're going to have a seagull sighting later. He knows this is the spot to come. There's a little bit of bird shit on the balcony. They don't want you to feed him because of that. But mm -hmm. 
Miss Frog. Oh. What? Oh, never mind. The playlist? I don't know how to share the playlist, whatever. Christian made it for me. I like it. Hmm. Ace Jack against Aces. Well, aces are better than Ace Jack. This I know. All right. We're going to have to start running hot. Those <laughs> were chip leader. We got Ace King. We will be getting it in. There's nobody here that's going to. I mean, the one stack that could be problematic is Yu Hang. Yu Hang is third in chips now. Yu Hang Chen. Doing it. All right. He's all in. I'm just going to jam. But Yu Hang Chen would have to have a very big hand to call here. Like, if we block aces, we block kings. Whatever. Cream, you know, you do your thing, Cream. Whatever you got, you got. Hmm. Cream might have like two sixes or two fives. Cream's got like two fives, two sixes, I think. Sevens. <laughs> what did I say? Two fives, two sixes? He had sevens? We won one! That's what I'm talking about. We, we won a flip, but I knew he had fives or sixes or sevens, whatever. I should have said sevens. Because usually a jam for 17 bigs is going to be a pair like that. So why did we gamble then if we only had ace-king? Because, you know, you know, you could have other hands too, but... All right, what are we back to? 220,000 now. Started with 270, so I want to get my chips back. I want my chips back. Just want to have the stack that I had. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey honey. Do you have the heat on? No, it's on 72. Do you have the heat on? It's on 72. Do you have it on heat or air? I don't know. I just put it at 72. Why? You and your little baby this cold. You're wearing this is this is my wife. She's wearing full hoodie and sweats in bed under the covers, right? Right? I'm not under the covers. Okay, but this is what she did. She's under the cover doing all this kind of stuff, talking about how it's warm out here. Get naked. You okay. know? In there it's freezing. Finally. It's freezing for, for me over in your your room. It's it's nice here. Like it's chilly here. I don't know, it's like nice. I'm wearing a blanket and everything. So and I'm wearing socks. Sorry, you're sensitive to the cold. It's not even that. She's just... Yeah. No, I grew up in Canada. Yeah. You grew up in... Uh... Yeah. North Carolina. And you know what? Uh. I, grew, I grew up in North Carolina. Also, you love that nasty heat in Vegas. You love that. I like the heat. Yeah, it's humid. Dry heat. Like over 100. It's 72 in here right now. I know. You like it over 100, right? 72. Is that room temperature, people? I don't sleep at 72. We sleep in... You know, ice cold, frigid, whatever. 50. Yeah, we sleep, whatever. But when I'm just relaxing, playing poker, I, I need to be cold for what? I only asked you if you had the heat on. I know, I just have it on 72. 72, you said heat. I don't know, I just put it at 72. I didn't know that there's... You didn't know if you were on AC or heat? Well, I mean, like if, if you put it at 78, wouldn't that turn the heat on if it's colder than... If, yeah. it's, if it's on the auto thing, right? Yeah, it's on auto, probably. I don't know. I don't know why you're so sensitive about being cold. You're the one that's sensitive about... Look at you. She's bundled up like this. Ooh, like that. Talking about how it's hot in here. Which makes no sense. I can't believe how upset you are. <laughs> God. You want any pasta? I just want a pot. I'm back to 220. I started with 270, right? Yeah, I know. I'm still chip leader. But it's close now. I have 100 big blinds. 109. 100. Well, I didn't... No, I didn't start with... I thought we started with 2,700 big blinds. No, we started with 450 because I would have played. I would have kept playing because uh, we started at level 11. You had it mixed up or something? Well, I didn't know we started at level 11 on day two. Level 11 is three and 600 blinds, not 50 and 100. So whatever. Average stack is 27 and we have 109. Do you need anything? No, I'm going to order food in a bit. Good Look here. Oh no, not while I'm streaming. Oh, okay, later. I don't know, maybe. Why is your bed your bed's messy? No, I just had 
Well, let's just get clean sheets and do it ourselves. Woof. Clean towels, clean all the things. I'm gonna go, go over and get these lashes fixed. She's got a busy day. She's got to go get her lashes fixed. They fucked them up. I have to fix them too. Show the people your lashes. Yeah. Left holes in them. Have I taken the sea taxi to Granville Island? We've never yeah, been to that would be fun. We could. Don't put my shoes on. Why? You're going to stretch them out with your big feet. <laughs> that bothered you that I had your shoes on? No. Just put my shoes on. You like them? My comfy creative Rex? We should see what she's wearing right now. She looks like Rocky. Come here. Come here. You can't see the feet. No, but do your show the people what you're wearing. It's ridiculous. I showed them yesterday. It's the same outfit. Well, they don't, not everybody's the same people. She wants to hide her face because she didn't do her makeup yet. No, it's oh. not that. I just woke up. Asking. Oh, so you just woke up, which means her face looks terrible. I just wore this yesterday. This is what she wears. She's wearing all this, talking about how it's too hot in here. Right? She wears all this. She'll have a heating pad on. All this. <laughs> and she's wearing my shoes. Look. She's wearing Would my shoes. Would you be with me if my feet were this big? What the fuck? Are you st- Would you still be with me if this was the size? Would I still be with her if she had feet the same as me? I don't know, man. I don't know. There's no way. I don't know. If I had size like 10 feet, I'm doing my There's body. not size 10. I have size 9. and okay. But women's, that oh, would be... My body, though? Yeah, you're, that would be awkward. It's huge. It'd be funny, like, watching you run if you had that. She has the weirdest... She comes up with the weirdest things, right? <laughs> would you still be with me if I had... <laughs> You're not bothering. That cruise ship. Did you see that? The cruise ship out there? Huge. Pretty pretty. Alaska on the front. It's huge. Yeah? How did we even get in there? That's what he said. That's what I said. Wow. I don't watch Deadwood, Gil. I'm gonna go over and get on that ship. Okay. Let me roll my eyes. Still the chip leader over here. Now, where's Felipe? Felipe fell to fourth. He's lost a few. Oh, I have privacy on. Oh. Still ring the bell, right? What 5K? There's a 5K going on right now? Oh, no, you're missing it. Oh, no, no, no. They're they're talking about the main event. I can't play that because we'll be leaving before then. No. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to get some Pinot Gris. Oh, yeah? You want Pinot Gris? Yeah. Okay. Pinot. Yeah. All right. You can order it online here. Pinot Gris? Did you know that? You can order Pinot Gris to the room? DoorDash and stuff. Wow. I did not know that. From the place we went, the meat, what's it called? Meat? Meat in, in Gastown. Yeah. With your order, you can add that and they bring it. Nice. Well, yeah. Who knew? Oh, you're not ruining it. I'm now reading the chat because you just showed up because it's five minutes, right? Oh, yeah. Happy wife, happy life. I feel like complaining about me because I'm getting the vision. Oh, someone said, LOL, my wife yesterday. Oh, Colin Capone said, my wife laying in bed with a heating pad and yelling at me for turning the AC off. Yeah, totally. It's, it's like... You try having cramps for a fucking week. She has cramps for a week. Ten days usually. Ten days of cramps. One third of your life. Thank you for reminding me. It's really nice of you. Your area is very clean. <laughs> My area? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I clean up. I clean up this area. Yeah, it looks nice. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a, I even clean up the kitchen stuff. I mean, I did yesterday, but now the there's. Kitchen. Well, not the kitchen, but by the fridge when I make my overnight oats every night. Yeah. You make those without measuring? Yeah, I just throw them together. I'm not on a diet, really, right? So. I'm not either, but do you want to eat my fries? No, I don't want to eat your fries. I'm going to order food, though. Good call. Chickpea. (laughs) 
So we had the chick steak rice bowl. I had the schnitzel platter. Let's see about, what do we got? Burrito. Burgers. That's my quick cord. You never brought it to me last night? I didn't touch it. Kalamachik. Tacos. Yeah, I mentioned the affair earlier. No, no spoilers. I don't think anyone cared. Yeah. Kebab Berg. Do I want one of those? Nah. All day breakfast. What? At Chickpea. Oh, that's nice. I um, not seeing pancakes on here. The Schnitzel Waffle Benichick? Wow. Oh no, they do have pancakes. Blueberry banana oat. Malawak. This is weird. A malawach, a quack, is a thick, savory, puff pastry pancake deliciously stuffed with avocado or yam, tomatoes, vegan sausage, hummus, hummus, extra spicy red shrug, pickles, and vegan sauce. Oh, looks wild. Safta's secret carrot cake. Lumberjack Baklava. Chickpeas. This place is good. Hafla. What is Hafla? Oh, it's like... Ooh, no, we don't need Hafla. Organic hummus plates. Let's see an organic hummus plate, what that looks like. Schnitzelom. That's what I had yesterday. It was decent. The chick steak, hummus plate. We're going hummus today? Shall we have a hummus plate? Shawarma, hummus plate. I don't know. I do this every day, don't I? Let's see what else. Let's look around. Pizza day? Hey now, honey, bunny, bunny, I'm in my car. Da -da 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 -da. Give me all rights, give me all rights. I need a break from looking, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Can everyone see the V-pips? Yeah, you just gotta click over the number. Over the player's number, as I was saying, 14. Oh, hold on. Why is it not working right now? Okay, there you go. There's Antoni. Anto Antoni Filatov. He's got the Genie Millions. He's got the rings. He's got the bracelets. He's got the this. Do, 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 do. We're ranked two now. J7 took the chip lead from us. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we need to order Mach Griff. We talk about drinking a lot, but we don't actually drink. Like, I know, we drink like once in a blue moon. Yeah, I know. She said she's ready. He wants to drink. Get that drink on. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Only if I win. Okay. Let me see what else Dorda has to offer. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we may all right, see me all right. Hey now, honey, oh man, let's see what a custom bowl. What can I customize from a place called Freshy? Rice noodles, brown rice, quinoa, dressings, tofu. Hmm, you can make your own bowl here at Freshy. That's going to be a process though, right? Figuring out all the things you want. Well, let's do it. Start with rice noodles. Okay. Choice of dressing. Well, we got 11 bigs. Full that. Teriyaki, fiery barbecue sauce, lemon juice. Nah. Chocolate martini she's talking now. I, I'm already I'm, I'm blocked at sauce. I don't know what to get for sauce, so I'm not going to get this. Or should I just get the teriyaki sauce? No, not doing it. I don't want to build a bowl from scratch. That's too much work. I'm not I'm not putting all the things. I want something already set up. All right. Do 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 do. Romania, Romania, hi there. He needs a jack. Nope. Nope. Ace King beats. Nice hand. And Anatoly. Anatoly wins the pot. King six suited. Okay. Look at this. Blinds just going up, up, up. We're now fifth. Yeah. People are just winning pots. We're not. Call limping, limping and pimping. There's three sixes. I'm going to go ahead and bet one, expecting him to float with a bunch of hands and stuff like that, and then bet two thirds on the ten. Bet, 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 Jim. Bit, bit, Jim. You have nine? You call me? No, that's fine. Hmm. I'll take it. Take it. All right, what is the average? We are chip leader again, somehow. <laughs> With 76 bigs now. Average is 22 bigs. This is turbo -y, guys. 10-minute blinds, right? 10-minute blinds. Take a plate of hummus shashkushkushka, brother. Believe me. Believe me. Shakushka. Shakshuk. Shakshuka? What is shakshuka? I don't know shakshuka. I don't know any shakshuka. But I do know... No, I do know fold. Eric Clifford, I'm old school. You know what I mean? I'm old school. Classic. All right, let's see what else we got here. That place was good. Viet family. The place that took fucking 20 years to come. That tofu bowl I had. That was good. Ooh, this is good. Some seitan. I got Jack 10. Race. Minimum. That's for you, honey. Oh, 
Oh shit, I got jammed on. I'm gonna order from that place that didn't come for five years Did last time. No? no, the other one. Yeah, I'm not even as hungry today, so that's fine. Hey. hey. I, love I love you too, honey. That was sweet. She just... Does it come with rice or what? Yeah, served with rice. Okay. Comes with white rice. That's what we want. All right, I have king pen. I was called by the small blind. Must be bad thing. Betting. You have it, Edward. You beat me. You beat me. What can I do? You check raise me. What are you going to have? Call the small. I'd rather you just fold, honestly. I don't know what the fuck's going on with this hand. What are the gold knights from? Really? You thinking that long? All right. I'll check back turn for you. Give you a free card. Probably not drawing since I have that ten of hearts in my hand. Check. And then we're going to get some value on the river. I'm going to try anyway. Din Romania, Eduard de Du. Eduard de Du. Din Romania. Ce faci? Faci un... He's betting four? That's fine. I'll just call four. Boom, boom. Seven high? Come on. What is this? Seven high? Ship it to Daniel. Okay. Eh... Yeah. Mapitom. What is it? That was Israeli. All right. Let's go. Start to open it up a little bit. Razy daisy. Okay, I'm going to order this lemongrass chicken. Looks good. That's it. Add to order. Oh, wait. There's two things on here. Oh, the summer roll. The summer roll is a nice little side dish thing. Okay, I had it before. It was nice and healthy. Express. Oh, I'm going to do Express. What, I got re-raised? Fine, guys. I'll fold. Queens. Ho, ho, ho. Against Ace King. Sa! Not diamonds out of there. Let's see. Oh, there's the Ace. Oh. Ace and King. Did diamond come? Nope. I would have made aces up, too. Confirm. All right. We'll go with this Viet. Viet family. The Viet ha The vegan house. I'll take it. It's good. I had it the other night. Du, du. Greek freaker. Greek Freaker. Okay. What you doing, Greek Freaker? All right. Good luck with you. The average, we're going to see a lot of jamming now. The average stack is what? 24 bigs? Should get here between. It says... Should get here between 12.53, 12.57 and 109 now. Okay, it's starting to get later. Oh, here we go. That's what happened the other night. Just later and later and later. Well, this guy, Yiliqui, has a lot of chips. Yiliqui, coming in hot with a big stack. I'm going to just limp call. Limp call against you if you raise me. You're going to make it 3.54. Alrighty, we're going to be it. Protect. If he has a queen or a ten, or an ace, obviously. Any one of those cards he's calling with. There's another ace. Queen or ten is not folding. King highs and jack highs we beat. I'm going to play careful poker. Checking the turn. Checking the turn. Hmm? Checking the turn. He's betting very small. It's not a bluff. It's not king high. It's not jack high. I think it's queen or ten. He's looking to get a free showdown for river. We're going to fold and see the three on the river. Nope, queen. We would have had the board. 
Aces and queens with a 10. Nice hand, buddy. Nice hand. Yiqui. Yiqui. Okay, folding. on me yet? No, still. These two. What happened here? Yeah, it's still the five deuce. All right. What do we got? 250 runners left of how many entries? 13,000 entries. We are now sitting fourth in chips. Do we have our chips back? No. 232. Okay. We're on our way, though. Started with 270. We took some really goofy fucking coolers. Roll. Hmm. Shout out from Hungary. What's up, Chris Toth? Magog, Matvek, Greek Freaker. Let's see if there's any. What's this? Simon Snaps. What's he got? 542,000 in earnings for Simon L. Snaps. How about you, Greek Freaker? Are you a baller? 232,000. Not bad. Nick2302, are you a baller? 4,000 in earnings. Math ECV, 145K. Magog, 199,000. Yiliqui, are you good? Ooh, 600,000. You're the boss at the table, I think. And then we got 438 over there for IDTKPHT key pop, whatever that is. Boom, 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 boom. Bit of jicks? Yes. Boom, 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 boom. We'll call jams with the jacks. Starting to become key pots at this stage now. Hmm. Magog calling me, huh? Just flatting. All right, well. Jacks is a tough hand to play now because a lot of flops are going to have an ace, king, or a queen in them. And the ones that don't, often coordinated, you know. Six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so that's one that's good for us, but. We're blocking Jack 10, which is a natural continue. I'm gonna go with 40% lead. No free card, Magog. If you go all in, you probably have aces and I'm gonna call. It'd be so annoying. Fuck. Fucking joke, he has aces. I know what I'm doing. I just know. I always know. So why do I just fucking pay them when I know? I'm so stupid. I'm like, I just know. How many coolers have I fucking faced today? It's just bizarre. I just know the guy's got aces. It's the only thing that makes sense for him to jam there. Oh, I guess he could have. I mean, he could have a lot of hands, but I just felt like it was fucking aces. I mean, it's just bizarre today. What a list of hands I've got. Pocket queens, king, queen, jack, loose ace, ten. Pocket sixes against ace, eight on ace, eight, six, loose ace, eight. Tens, cooler against jacks. Jacks, cooler against aces. How many chips do I have left? 154. Oh my goodness. What a shitty, 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 shitty run. Oh, 
Oh, what a shitty run, huh? I mean, whatever. If he re-raised pre-flop, I would have got it in anyway. Wait to see a nice fucking beautiful nine high flop. Cooler me again. Come on, bro. All right. We're 24 of 222. We've got to be excited. We're above average. But holy shit, what a day. Hmm. Tilt is real. The tilt is real. Man, what a what a day. What a day so far, eh? It's been uh not good. Not good. Not good at all. Just so many dirty, dirty, dirty spots. I know he has aces. Frankie Waters. We're already in the water in the money, Frankie Waters. There's the pay jumps. What are we, 212 left, so... 1,100, whatever. Come on with these fucking coolers. I just knew we had aces. I know, Stefan Schill hobble. Hell, how's that possible? Oh, 1.8 million. I thought it was 1,800. Yeah. Alex Pear from Brazil, 367k. Stanislav Halastenko, that's 199k. What a run. Have I ever met Magnus Carlsen? I did, at the World Series of Poker this summer. Yep, he was there. He was playing a lot of poker. He likes poker. I did a, he sent me a message. I did a review on one of the hands he played. It was really good, really smart. Obviously, the guy's a smart guy. I was like, man, if this guy takes poker seriously, we're all dead. <laughs> now you're seeing the Jack's hand. I'm looking five minutes into the history. No, Jesse Gibbons. I'm not giving you money. You ask again, no, no, no. I'm not getting you back in the game. Get yourself back in the game. Can't help you with that. different when you play live though like when you play online i mean you kind of have to just you don't really get to see the person right so you have to even though i'm like okay probably has aces it's online poker it's different you know live i could look at them and get a read get a sense i still did but i mean i didn't get to see what he looked like you know
My call is terrible. Calling with Jax on 985 against the short stack. Yeah. Oh, just terrible call, Daniel. I know. Because he had uh he had the aces. Alright, well, what are we down to 196 already? Average is what? 28 bigs, we got 42. We're still here at least. Still here. Still kicking. Ooh, ace four against ace king. And there's the four four. That's the bye bye ace king. Boom, 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 boom. Dun, 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 dun. Hello from Italia, Raffaelli. Someone paid money to tell me I'm horrendous? Congre Thank you for the money? I guess. I don't know. You did a super chat to tell me I'm terrible, and he doesn't know what Amanda's doing with me. Living it up. Okay. Ace King against King Queen. Can the Ace King win this time? Looking good. three suited that's gonna be a full look at this man we're down to what is the average now 25 bigs Woo -hoo! 10 minute blinds bro they don't mess around you know you get you get to it you get to it all right now <laughs> we started with 450 blinds go up blinds go up blinds go up boom what does the chip leader have let's see chip leader right now is 97 bigs so nobody even has 100 what would my stack have been like 70 so what do i got half of it yeah, 146. I started with 270. Shout out to your dog, Luca. Okay. What is the background bumping noise? Couldn't tell you. That's maybe something in your house. Wes CH asks if I brought a laptop to stream or a desktop. Yeah, I didn't travel with a desktop. Just brought the uh, brought the brought the a laptop, the necessary soundboard stuff, um, you know, the mic, and then uh, we shipped a uh, monitor here. Ross, who lives here, Ross is the producer of the Dat Poker Podcast. He, um, yeah, he picked he picked this up. He got the monitor, set it all up here in the hotel. Nobody else. I do not. I did not get my chips back yet. I started with 270 and have not had 270 since. <laughs> King Jack. All right. This will be a jam against the big blind stack if it's folded to us. Might be a jam anyway. Actually, against 26. I don't know. 26 is a little iffy but if the 13 opens i'll jam nox lock all right this is just a rrr, grip it and rip it boom ski were you gonna call with king 10 please call with king 10 don't have an ace always have an ace all right king or jack please come on man what the fuck it's fucking stupid. I just lose every pot. Standard fucking coolers. King Jack can't beat an ace three. Come on, bro. What in the fiznuck? So, so shitty this this fucking runs today. So many bad hands. It's not been fun. It's been the opposite of fun. Thought it'd be fun. We're about we're a little below average now. Has not been fun today, guys. Small blind against the blind random two cards. With the King Jack. He's only got 11 bigs. It's an automatic just fired in there excitedly. 
and he has an ace and a three, and he wins. It's like, okay, cool. They, first he has to get the hand to call, then he has to beat the king jack. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. What is happening here? Hmm. I need an emoji. Running cold. And tilt. WTF. And finally... Threw an egg at his face. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to throw an egg at his face. Why not? So the big blind has 1.6 bigs. Obviously not folding. And we have nine high. A couple players behind. This is not a steel spot. So ridiculous, man. This day that we've had, we're stuck. Fucking just lost every all in. Hmm. Pick up a nice looking King Jack in the small against two random cards, and I'm behind. What the hell? Thanks, Riz. I like the beard. Wife likes the beard. That's what matters. Now you gotta play short stack poker. That was annoying, man. Jesus. What a day we had. It's just... Really strange. Strange. I just wanted the cruise, you know? Keep my stack nice and pretty. All the way to the end. No. You put the cooler in for me today. The cold decks. Cold, cold hearted decks. That <laughs> guy says I bluff too much and overthink. Oh man, I want to punch you in the face for just saying that because you're so stupid if you say that. Did you fucking watch today? I bluffed one fucking hand. I bluffed zero fucking hands today. Huh? Zero. Well. Almost zero. I didn't get caught on a bluff today. How about that? Any fucking bluff too much. What are you talking about? Benoit Pilon, use your brain. Pay attention. Go back to the beginning of the stream and tell me where I bluffed too much in this fucking stream today. Fucking three queens, was that a bluff? Fucking three sixes, was that a fucking bluff? Tilt. All right, David Greening. What's up? Bagels. <laughs> How do you change the stack to number of big blinds? You just click on it. Boom. There you go. 88K, 22 bigs. Any insights where Phil the Thrill is playing this year? No. I'm, like, I looked at the different teams available. I think Florida is the best fit, probably. We got five minutes till break. If we make it, come on, come on, let's go. This has been... A horrific run in this flip and go. Horrific. What mic do I use? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. It's just a. I don't know. I did a whole everything pissed. <sighs> All right. 
Come on, let's turn it around. Turn it around. Okay, we're gonna see a flop if nobody else jams. With a queen, an eight, a suit of suit. Against Brazil, 1.8 million. WTF is this. I know what that means. Okay, call. Give me a queen. This is just a whiff. That's all right. Whatever. We lost one chip. It's fine. Oh, you're checking back. Checking back, huh? WTF is this? You want me fall into this trap? I don't. Okay, eights now. This could be good. One chip. Bet. If he has nines plus, he wins. If you check back an ace twice, good for you. You win. I don't think he's raising much. Oh, sweet. Show him the eight. Nice. That worked out. Wow, that worked out nice. I was done. If he just bet the flop, I would have folded. Sweet. That's important. Man, we're down to 90, 20 bigs. Even, okay, average is 23. We got a 7, 8. Average is 23 bigs, y'all. Only 165 remain. This will be a limp if it folds to us. We're folding to any raises. Okay. Alatenko, you want to raise me, you win. If you raise, you win, Stanislav. Oh, 1.8 more. Good hand. Well done. Would have missed. Would have had a gut shot. King 9, this is going to be a raise. If we are... Uh, oh, never mind. So a lot of these hands, I can tell you what I'm going to do before I do it, like it's in two seconds, I know, right? So fold it around to us, we raise this. So I'll give you that sort of gist so you understand the strategies. Against the raise, we fold. I mean, ABC, right? None of this is coolers though, Mock Griff Clown says. Look, Mock Griff Clown says none of this is coolers. None, none of the hands I had today were coolers. They were all just terrible, horrific play. I want to punch people that say stuff like that. Not for real, just a joke. You know, like, give you a little love tap. So silly. you got to be joking me. Joking. King, queen. All right. This one will be a race. Naxed. Locked. If he jams, we'll fold, actually. If Nacht's Lock jams, we're going to fold. Min raise. She'll wobble, we'll call. If I remember correctly. We got Sneeze, I'm sorry. With 1.8 back. Sneeze, I'm sorry. A Sneeze, I'm sorry. I played with you yesterday. You just put it in, bro. I don't care. Whatever. You uh, trying to get a pay jump or something? All right. All right. Three ways to the flop. There's the queen. Bet two. Never folding now. He called. Okay. What is that? 11.8. If you have me, you have me. What am I supposed to do? Ship it in and have you... Have you oh, me. All right, what does he have? Hmm? He has a club draw. That's a red card. Whew. We win one. All right. Hmm. Good hand to go to break with. Okay.
this driver do it right? right here. Two minutes. Sixty fourth. How many chips does that represent? One thirty three. <laughs> the situation on that nice key pot money jumps who cares but doesn't matter to them and 200 bucks whatever what else is going on let's see Forty-five seconds, let's go. How are you playing one table? I mean how? How am I only playing one table? What do I have to play multiple just because you do? Do I have to do what you tell me? Huh? This is gonna end quick, man. Lines are up there. You know? 10 minutes, boom, boom, boom. By the next break, we'll be down probably, we'll lose half the field. Something like that. I like this hand, but I'm not, not in this situation with, with a short stack here. In's a big. Tight is right, tight is right. At this stage of the tournament with an average stack, Guy says, all in made no sense. Oh my god. Why do I listen? Why do I read some of this dumb chat? What would you prefer? Check? Because, oh, we all could have a straight? There's three, five, six, and two clubs there. I have king, queen. You want me to like just let a four or a seven or a club come off and go, I don't know. Yo, I don't know. Bet small. Yeah, exactly, Randy Holcomb. You tell him, Randy Holcomb. Silly people. Silly, silly, silly people. All right, what do we got here? A wheel against five. All right. 
So I'm going to talk about Contenders Clothing. Here you go. Okay. So I got shirt. Doyle and Puggy and Slim and Moss. Contenders Clothing. The DNA Collection. Or no, that's the Doyle Collection. I think. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Now I'm having feeling like I should have played more flipping goes and got more chips. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm. My starting stack would have been sixth place right now if I just held on to the chips I started with. But I did not. Would it be seven handed? Wife, he's got it. Yes, thank you, honey. We've been flatted by the button. That is not ideal. Thanks, honey. Bag lunch. I don't love this flat. What are you going to do? Okay, the small wine folded. That's good. We didn't want to have him jam. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. He wins, huh? Was it bet, bet, bet? You bet twice? Okay, ace nine suited. This might be it. You're going to. This is the Satan walk. Lemongrassy style thing. We got a nice side of rice here. Obviously, white rice. I like white rice. And then we got these yummy little summer rolls. These are good too. Hmm. Let me show you. Like, yeah, whatever. Fuck, it's a summer roll here. Nice, pretty. What is this? Raise, re raise? Damn, I have to fold? That sucks. Okay, that's gonna be yum. Little summer roll first with nice whatever sauce. I don't know. Pretty good meal, this one. I like it. Nice and healthy. I use like a, what is that like? Summer roll is like a rice paper type deal. Dip it in this here, peanut sauce. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yep, really good. I had these summer rolls the other night too. They're better than a spring roll because spring rolls just maybe tastier, but fried. This is not fried. Hmm. Excuse me, I'm making a mess. All right, Jack, let's go. This is it, right? How we doing it? How we doing it? I'm gonna raise to induce. Yep, we raise, min raise the button. Induce, or if do yo opens, we jam. Yeah, that's just gonna be all you can eat buffet.
while I eat my food will be double. Let's make this food taste good. Let me double. You said my last hand. Good luck, I said to him. I don't really mean it, though. Do I have a spade, too, to cover? Yeah. Yeah, baby! That's what we need. We finally won one with Jax. Let's go. Oh, he had a king. King, queen suited. My god. Wow, if those fours didn't open, I would have been out. Lost to the king, queen suited. Instead, we are back in action. Top 15 stack. 40 bigs. Okay, let's keep it going, guys. Hmm. Oh, man. This place is really good. Viet, the family. The vegan house. Hmm. A little bok choy. Mm-hmm. I'm not a spicy food guy. And it's not terrible, but like, there's a hint. You know? And that, even a hint can make me get the hiccups. What did he say? He said something in Chinese that it translates. I just want to wrestle with you. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, he's blue smoke in my face. You see that? He said, I just want to wrestle. I'm your fan. I'm going to say thank you. That's so cool. Listen, this website is unbelievable. He just said some stuff in Chinese, right? He chopped, he typed in the chat in Chinese, and I see it in English. It's probably funny. He said, I just want to wrestle with you. Might, maybe tangle would be the, you know, the correct English word, but that's so cool. Auto-translate. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Mm. I've made a mess. The summer roll didn't stay together so well. I was like sloppy eating anything on my beard. I always have something for later. Okay. All right, let's hope this isn't too spicy. Mm. How many left? 144. Do I have my original stack? Almost. <laughs> Of spice in here. Super, I don't mind the taste of spicy stuff, but it gives me hiccups often. Chip leader at this table is nice. It's always nice. What is the average stack now? 23 big blinds. Y'all know I'm going to finish this food. Don't mess around. Oh, see, hiccup. First hiccup of the day. I really, it, I think it's called capsaicin that I'm allergic to. 
or that causes hiccups and there's some in there but it's still good i'm gonna eat it you're just gonna have to excuse the hiccups mm. okay so do you cling just message something in chinese and i think he meant something else but he literally tagged sweet i don't know if it was to me i want to f you <laughs> See, there's the hiccups i told you you thought i was kidding no it's real Oof. yeah let's have a little summer roll switch it up a fold if I ever done seen one mm. Was that a chili pepper right there? I think that's what that is. Oh, yeah, that is. You got to get rid of that thing. Oh, I see them now. Okay, so don't eat those. Pick out the chili peppers, and we'll be okay. There they are. Uh-huh. Next time, I'll tell them no chili peppers. And again, it's not about the taste of them. It's just you see, I get... Sometimes really bad hiccups. This one wasn't so bad. I only had a little bit of it. All right, no more chili pepper. Mm. She loves spicy. Another chili pepper. Seven, eight. Nope. 132 remain. Super good. I make this stuff at home, say 10. It's my favorite protein source for vegan. It's very easy to make. Basically, the base is a vital wheat gluten, which is you can get in a powder, or you can just take flour, bleach it, or not bleach it, but like wash the flour and do it yourself. We you can just buy vital wheat gluten. And then you add water, of course, or whatever, and roll it into, this is the most basic, roll it into sort of a ball, Knead it, pound it. That's like a meaty like texture. But the one I make typically, I add some silken tofu, give it sort of a chickeny type deal. And I do a, then I add some onion powder, garlic powder, nutritional yeast, some veggie broth maybe. I also make, there's a, there's a website called says Seitan Society, S E I T A N. And so many good recipes. The other one I make is like an Italian sausage, which I'll, Mix the vital wheat gluten with like um, navy bean or whatever, white bean. Add the spices. Roll it into little like sausages looking things with into some foil. Steam it 25 minutes or so. Hmm. Or 40 minutes for the sausage. 25 minutes for the chicken tenders. Hmm. And it's like, if you look up like seitan as far as you know, macros go, it's pure protein. It's like, there's almost no carbs and no fat. It's just a good protein source. You get rid of all the starches.
Mm. So good. Man, if I ever get back to my starting stack, it's on. Like Donkey Kong. Summer roll box empty. Still working on the lemongrass seitan thingy. Drink your water backwards? Oh, you mean like that? I've, I've heard that. Makeups don't last too long. They're okay. And they're gone, basically. <clears throat> Just get rid of that chili. There, I see another one. They're hiding. Oh, man. There's still several of them. Hiding on me. This is very similar to our dish I make at home. The bok choy. Much prefer the white rice. Yum. These hands are fun when it's deep. They're not when they're short. You're right, boo-boo. I haven't really had to think about hands. Just been, they've been coolers or whatever. But the thing is, at this stage of the tournament with the chips so short, there won't be a lot more, there's not gonna be a lot of intricate turn and river decisions. You know, it's a lot of pre-flop all in, as you can see. Yeah, I can't eat, I don't eat chicken wings, bro. Sorry, go on the hot ones. I'm not gonna eat like real chicken. No. early position tight is right when you got a lot of stacks of jam behind you you don't want to play those marginal hands up front tight is right see we were raised right away he probably if he's raising from that position if we would open he might have just jammed and that would be very awkward calling 10 more bigs with threes hmm we faded a raise and a re-raise, maybe. Dimitri Grineco.
Well, looks like we did it. Finished our food. Mama would be proud. My mom used to love to just cook and watch us eat. Made her happy. I can tell you why, too. In a moment. Look, Mom. We did it. Empty. Bravo. Clap, clap. Mmm, I could stick this one in his face. But we can just call, too. Stealing a lot. See ATS? It's his attempts to steal. 69%. All right, you go get him. Back to the story about my mother. Okay, Mama. She was the youngest of 10 kids, okay, in Romania. Ten, you know, nine brothers, well, eight sisters and one brother. She was the smallest and she was the youngest. So they didn't have a lot of food to eat. They lived in a small little place, like smaller than this hotel room. And in the mornings, they would hear the rooster go, goo -goo -goo -goo, which means it laid an egg or whatever. And, you know, they had a fence so you couldn't get in. My mother was the only one that could get underneath the fence because she was tiny. Go get the egg. And then, you know, they would cook the egg and then eat, eat, feed the family. And so for my mother, I think like very young age, like joy and love was connected to food with her. So feeding other people was her way of like having value and being a giver. And that's who she was. She was a major, just massive giver. <clears throat> she was a giver for sure. Notice the difference between this guy. Matalod's attempt to steal is 23%. Alexa Pare is 71. Oh man, I would have been in trouble here. Mm. Would have chopped with the A6 if I jammed. Thanks, Ricky Masters. Happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday to you, Ricky Masters. Mouth's still a little hot, but man, that was good. Yup, jasmine rice, bok choy. When I make it at home, I do that with some mushroom, green onion, carrots, sometimes some peppers. You can also, depending on diet, if I'm diet, I cut it, but like, Peanuts, peanut sauce type thing. Or just peanuts. Put them in there. Oh, Hot One's got a vegan option? I just, what am I going to do? I'm going to get hiccups. I'm not a good for that show. I'm terrible. I'll be like a mess. Oh, Misty o Rico Rock. Okay, why would you ever go vegan? He says, I'm no hey, just wondering. Doesn't make sense to me. Okay, first and foremost, health. I used to eat meat, and I would have trouble digesting and going to the bathroom. I quit. I went vegetarian for a while. The problem subsided. Then I went vegan fully, and I'm like, oh my God, now I'm regular as hell. So from first and foremost, health reasons. Number two, you know, I like animals, frankly, and I feel bad about what happens in factory farms and things like that. Number three, environmental. I'm going to raise this one. You know, environmental, but also just like, but the main, main one, I took a course from Cornell as well on plant-based nutrition. And here's the thing, guys. I and mean, this is just it, right? Like, you don't see, ve vegans really don't struggle with heart disease. It's like a toothless tiger heart disease. It's very common amongst people who eat a standard American diet, but vegans don't really suffer from that. You know, not no, no issues in that regard. So just overall, it's, you know, really a health thing. Fuck. That's too many big blinds to call. Damn. It's shill hobble, though. All right, buddy. Take it. Boo. Yeah, so my reasons were, like I said, first and foremost, health. Like, uh, you know, based on the research, everyone has their own research. I'm not here to judge you. You do what you do. You know, God bless. But, like, for me, based on all the research that I did, um, in terms of food, 
you know, the idea of eating, you know, animal protein or, you know, dairy is just com unnecessary. There's nothing in those things. Like, I know people say, oh, you got to get this. No, there's nothing. There's literally nothing that I don't get that I'm missing out on in terms of any sort of nutrients or whatever. I get everything I need. Everyone throws out, oh, what about B12? What about B12? Well, listen, bro. <laughs> When you, you think you're getting your B12, where do you think you're getting your B12 from? If you're eating from meat, it's because they're eating B12 supplements. That's what they're doing. All the cattle feed will have B12 supplementation. So that's how you're getting it. So I just cut out the middleman and I take the supplements myself. I take B12, I take vitamin D, which is healthy. Hmm. But enough about that. That's boring for people. Answered your question. We're moving on. Gotta open this one too. Never mind. Way too early a position to get frisky with an ace 10 there. Good. Dodged a bullet. The Stanislav. Hala Stenko bullet. Danielle, do you know any Romanian, any Russian words? Yes, Russian words. I know some bad ones. But I do know Siem Privet, Tadin, Dva, Tri, Shtira, Piat, Shesh, you know, Sheva, Shmone. Well, you know what I mean. The Kukurukurukuru, whatever. The chicken, whatever the fuck you call it. Not the rooster, I don't know. Where do I come from in Romania? I wasn't born in Romania. <clears throat> my mother was born in Brasov, near Transylvania. And my dad was born in a place called Layash. Yeah, my mother was born in Brasov, right next to Transylvania, near the border, the Hungarian border. I think her mom or something was Hungarian. Now, why are you guys judging the rooster who's, you know, laying eggs? It's like, you don't know. You know, you don't you don't know what that rooster, how they feel inside. <laughs> don't judge the egg-laying roosters. Hmm. Mm. All right. What do we got here? 24 bigs is the average. That's us. 100 left. Ship leader is up there now. See, my starting stack would have been 21st now. How much do I have? It's wild. I've been losing from the start of this thing. But still here because we started with so many damn chips. Pretty easy poker, honestly, when you're playing short, you know. The shorter your stacks are, the, like, the less mistakes you can make. And it actually levels the playing field between really good players and bad players. Because of that. Because if you played like 500 big, 1,000 big blinds deep, pros have a much bigger advantage. K-pop, you were wrong. Okay? K-pop, you're wrong. I know you say that. You say that with conviction. But you are wrong. And I knew you'd say that. I knew somebody would say that. And you're just wrong. You're just wrong. Okay? Just know that you're wrong. Know that you're uneducated on the topic. Leave it there. You just are. <laughs> Promise. Oh, yeah. Samuel Marquez says vegans are weak. And that's a fact. <laughs> Gorillas. Fucking vegan bodybuilders, all these big, massive fucking athletes. Watch Game Changers. Learn a thing or two about weak, you fucking idiots. Come on, don't be stupid. 
I do. Listen, I said with respect. Eat how you like. Do what you want. But don't come with dumb shit about, oh, where do you get your fucking protein from? What the fuck? Where do you think the gorilla gets his protein from, bro? Okay, king, queen. Every time that topic comes up, I wish it didn't, because it drives me nuts. Just the... What am I going to do with this? Limp jam? Oh, I think we're going to raise ourselves. We're going to raise J and call off. Not folding king queen in this spot. All right, sweet. Just take it there. And we go to flop the king. You're welcome, Mystic Rick Rock. Look at the shitstorm it started, though. I'm gonna have to not look at the chat for a minute now. <laughs> I answered your question. Oh god, here we go with the rabbits. All right, let's just pay. No, no chat for now. We're gonna wait. We'll wait till you guys turn the page. On that subject, it'll make me too tilted. Okay. What is the average? 26. We got 23.4. Down to 92 players. I did say by the end of this level, we'd lose about half the field. There was like 160. And now we're already down to 92. We're sitting smack dab in the middle at 46th. Right in the middle of the pack. How many chips does the chip leader actually have? How many bigs? 70 bigs for the chip leader. So, it is what it is, yo. It is, we are at, you know, that territory of the tournament where... Where's Felipe? How's he doing? Let me check. Me and Felipe started one too, and uh, he must have had a bad run too. I don't see him in there. Oh no, he's out. <clears throat> Felipe busted in 127. He must have had a bad run too. Peter Barr, is your primary goal in the World Series to win bracelets or win money? I have money already. Doing just fine there. So just winning bracelets, especially these ones, right? Because there's no like player of the year uh, associated with this online stuff. So online, even more so in close spots, like I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. I'm not going to be like, oh, I got a ladder from fifth to third. No, I don't care. Like anything other than first isn't good enough. All right, this is going to be a hand we'd probably go with, depending how much action happens behind. You see Knock Stock Slock has got 3.4 bigs in the big. We're obviously calling what W... Yeah, if he plays, obviously we're playing. He's got 4.4 total. He called. Okay. Yeah, now we just have... Okay, fuck, we're dead, but whatever. Oh, no, he's got a straight jump. Okay, well, we're in... We're 61.36% to win. We shall see. Hey, hey, we won! Faded. One of massive four big blinds. Hey, they're all they all count at this point. Okay. They all count. Let me be. Uh Hungarian upbringings. Well, actually, I think my grandma, like I said, Romanian. I went to Hungary once when I was dating somebody from Hungary for a little while. I went there, stayed there for a few weeks or a month, I don't remember. Stanislav's raising under the gun gun. This is a dicey spot. But too good of a price to pass up. We want to flop a straight. That wasn't a straight.
Yeah, I went to Dracula's castle when I was in Romania. My mother took me there when we were 10. Eighty-eight remain. In the flip and go. We're still kicking. It is. You're right, Daniel Henry Silver. Totally agree with what you're saying. I could get you guys with some arguments that I'm going to leave alone. Let's play poker. Let's focus on poker, guys. My bad for bringing it up. Or for answering the question. Okay, ace nine suited. Let's see, who are we dealing with? Who are we dealing with? Under the gun raises we're folding to. Okay. He's not been stealing all that much, as you can see. This time I will call. If Shill Hobble moves in this time, we are going to call with the ace nine. We had the same offsuit situation, but we had more big blinds then. He had like 23. Now he's only got 16 more. So ace nine suited rates to be just too good of a hand to fold at this stage. Oh man. I think we have to call, honestly. I don't see a, I don't see if I don't see why we fold. Even though he's playing pretty tight. Let's see, maybe. 16. Maybe we can fold actually. Yeah, actually, I can. Uh, 18 bigs in this stage of the tournament is like almost an average stack. I'm going to lay it down. What did the flop come? Fuck, a flush draw. He showed a fucking deuce. He had ace deuce suited. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Ha ha ha. Shit. I was going to call. I would have called Shill Hobble. Then I looked at the numbers on Stanislav. He's been playing a little more snug. <laughs> Fuck. I'm telling you for sure he had ace two six. Yeah, maybe he had two deuces, but either way, on that flop, I would have been in good shape. Could have been a good gamble spot. Ace nine shooted. Can easily call there. Was ready to get it in with the ace nine suited against two of the three players and the one I didn't want to jam jam. Stop. 
Stanislav Halatenko. Yeah? Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. I see you. That is correct, Charlie Gordon. You guessed correctly. I don't like to say that too. You know, I don't want you know, to you know, get in trouble with it. <laughs> Have you ever been to Denmark? Have I? Norway, then I don't remember. I think so. Sweden, Denmark. I don't fucking know, man. They're all, I, all those, all those countries kind of sound the same to me. Like I've been to Norway, been to Sweden. Have I been to Denmark? Maybe not. It was Copenhagen? I went to Copenhagen. Is that Denmark? Let's see. I'm so dumb. Copenhagen. I used to travel a lot back in the day, and sometimes I didn't even know. Yeah, it was Denmark. I went to Copenhagen. I've been to so many places where they're just there for whatever. You just stay in a hotel. So it's not like it makes any difference. Hard to explain. How many times have you been to Israel? I know that one. No, I haven't been there. Would like to go. Queen ten suited rays were going to try under the gun to steal the blinds. We'll take it now. There is two and a half out there. I won't call jams, but I'm expecting people to give me some credit from fucking raising under the gun. So I don't expect a lot of light jams here. If people jam, I expect them to have very good hand. This is the most annoying one, WTF, because it's 7.7, 7.9 more. Or wait, 6.9. These would be easy to fold against. Oh, wow, we got called from the small by a wolf solo and the big. He's got 21k in earnings. McLeod has. All right, this is going to be a small C bet. It's a good flop for the Razor. Got to try and get it through. Wolf Solo can have some ace high combos that just flat the small against under the gun. And the fact that he called very quickly is not good for us. Probably going to be shutting this one down. Oh, fuck. Never mind. Tilt. The blinds. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> what are you doing, Wolf Solo? Did you not have an ace? Oh, why you didn't? All right. Nice hand. Matliode. All right, now it's time to play to win. Obviously not with the Jack-3, but... Not the Jack-3. I can be with you. Man, we're down to 10 bigs now because, well, the average is 20. They just keep going up, 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 up. There's 80 players left right now. Jack six can jam actually. Yeah, fold to me. I'm gonna put the, put it in with the Jack six. Fuck it.
This will be a rip. If it's folded to me, I'm ripping it. An ace on the button against the shorty and the big. And only have to get through Stanislav. Oh, never mind. She'll hobble got there first. Queen 10, there he goes. I wish my Queen 10 hit like that. Mm -hmm. Queen 10 suited. Double for Shilhaba. All right. All right, let's pick up a pair of kings. How about that? Oh. No, I mean Israel. That's Lionhead. Israel. I haven't been to Israel. No. But I would like to go to Israel. It's the name of the country there. That's what I would I would go to Israel. I like my two of my best friends were from Israel, that country there. You know, in the in the Middle East that's called Israel. Israel. Oh, there you go. A7, no problem. Bingo, bango, bongo. Double upski. No bounties. What is that? 3.7. I'm going to fold. Um, well, we have an opportunity for the record after this thingy to fire up because I have not qualified for the mini main I haven't really tried too hard or the Millie maker which has plenty of time and there's a couple late reg opportunities there so that's not that's on the back burner if need be we will proceed I mean because now we're in crapshoot territory we could probably jump into those now maybe after the break I'll jump into the mini main and try to spin we roll the dice play crazy Try to double, get some chippies. Seven against ace eight. There's an eight. All right, an ace. Doom, doom. Ten eight suited. Uh, almost. Almost. Oh, I would have been dead. 10-8 would have gotten called by ace-queen suited. Unless the 7 comes, I would have chopped with the big blind. Nope. All right. Well, we saved ourselves by not going with 10-8 of diamonds. Fold. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is... After the break, I'm going to add a second table. And that will be the mini main. $500 buy-in. And we're going to play crazy, crazy, crazy. We're going to try to build a stack and get through there. Sound good? Keep the stream going, regardless of what happens here with our little puny 10 big blind stacks. But, you know, it sounds puny, but really the average is 22, right? So we, we double, we're average. The chip leader in this shindig was us. It is not. The chip leader has 71 bigs. So not a ton. Still have less than I started with. <laughs> kings against ace jack. Okay. That's what we want is kings. No, we don't. Not, not against ace jack when it becomes an ace. Stanislav needs a queen or a king. He needs to see a paint card. It is not. WTF is this. 100%. Ding, ding, ding. Winner. Wolf solo. Straight. Mm -hmm. 
Sevens. Sevens from heavens. All you can eat. 9.6 big blinds. Please fold old. Unless you call with ace five. Then I do not care. Then I do not care. Gamble time. Gamble time. We've got the pair. He's got the overs. Hold one time. Hold one time. We don't want a heart. We don't want an ace. And we don't want a king. Fucking heart. Fuck. It's fucking river, man. Shit. Fucking, I had a heart, too. Son of a biatch, man. Fuck. All right. God, son of a bitch. You felt it, didn't you? Well. Well. Whenever you hear well, that's never a good sign. Well. I'm not folding this. I have one blind in and 1.8 back. Have to gamble. All right. How about a 3-4 beats an ace-jack one time? Okay. Ace. Six, three, four. There's a three. Hold now. Okay, that's a that's a ace deucer. No, it's a deucer three. That's good for us. All right, we do we doubled back up to seven. I'll take it. Listen, never say die, guys. Never say die. Had to go all in. I had one big line in and another one point eight behind. No choice. Okay, be right back. We're still in it. We're in it to win it. While we're on break, I'm going to go ahead and set up the $500 mini main on the other table. Late reg. Register this guy. Two re-entries. Buy and return dollars. Register. Okay. All right. Let's make that table pop. Put this guy over here. Close. A good time to do it here. So table two, not Russian cash. But we're gonna put on table two. We're gonna put. There you there you go. Okay, they're on break. We got 16 blinds over that one. Okay, about the same size table. So we got table one. Table one is six. Table two. Okay, so table one, table two. Let's change the name. See if I can do this myself. Banner two. Bum, bum, bum. What was that one? Wait. Yeah. No, nope, we don't want that one. What's going on? Let's see. Done? Problems there. No. Oh, wrong banner. Event banner. That's why. All right. Browse. Let's see. Which one is it? 500 Mini Me. I found it. Genius. Okay. And then let's go to Tournament Info 2. And we're going to find mini main. Is that that? Yeah. Ha! I did it. Okay. 
Take that off. Let's go. Let's take this off just in case. Command L. All right. We are now. Say we're a little smaller, right? Right. 16.7. Yeah. So let's, let's move this a little bigger. Is it? Wait. I don't know. Okay. We're going to two table now, guys. F5, F6. F5. Why is F6 smaller? Weird. Let me make it bigger, see what happens. Okay, now let's see. Five, six, five. Ah, about the same. Okay, we're going to focus mainly on flip and go because we're deeper. This other one, by the way, the, mi the mini main thing, I'm just going to be gambling. Um, try to build up a stack and then qualify for day two. And this flip and go, we're going to just try to play good. If you know what I mean. Seven big blinds in the small blind. And we got a shot. I mean, we just had 2.8. Average is 24, right? Never say die. Never say die. Life, it never die. I love that song. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Life, it never die. Sex, I'm wanting more. Tell the people, stop the war. <laughs> Life, it never die. Okay, come on now. Seven bigs. Double, 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 double. Uh, double, 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 double. Double, 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 double. Ooh! Hey! Ho! Yo! We got two aces. Give me the action. Let them hold. Hmm. All right, come on. Don't waste no time. Everybody go all in. It's fine. It's safe. Don't worry. The water's fine. What are you tanking for? Are you go to the bathroom? You're not back yet? All right, he's all in. That's good. This is a big pot. Get everybody in. A couple more. Come on, he's a short stack. Go gamble with him. Gamble with him. Come on, guys. Everybody play. What are you waiting for? Huh? Oh, he's playing. Hee <laughs> Okay, Alex Parr is playing. I got Ace King over at the other table too. Let's play this one first. I want to mess this up. Raise all in. Got Ace King over here. Ace is over here. Three way aces. Over here, we're gonna have the, we're gonna get that in also the Ace King. Was this guy Stanislav's tanking? What do you want to do, Stanislav? King nine, aces. It's a good turn card. So ace, deuce, or three. Hello. I mean, deuce or three. Oh, fuck. Look at that, though. Ace, king against ace, jack. We lost that one. Fuck. But we won this one. We won the important one, the flip and go. But look at that. Ace, king over there. Ace, king. We're going to rebuy. Re enter. Register. Okay. That was annoying. Jammed 16 bigs. That was our chance to double up. That's a little big, maybe. Now we got 21 bigs in the flip and go, though. Folding. Fold. All right, I can do this two tabling thing. Look at me. Aces, three ways, triple dripple, up to 21 bigs. We're in the middle of the pack again. Hmm. I'm glad if I was going to lose one of them, it was the mini main, right? Because that one, we, you know, we got re rebuys, a couple rebuys. Ace king against ace jack. Whoa, well, whatever. Happens. Hmm. Two tables. Look at me. Look at me go. That's going to be a fold. Hmm. 
Look how tech savvy I am now, playing flipping two tables like a. Ver you ever see this before in your life? A guy playing two tables at the same time? Bet not. Fifteen bigs. Gonna raise the minimum. We'll be calling all jams. Calling all jams. Calling all jams. Two tens under the gun plus one. Calling all jams. Ooh, we got kings over here too. Uh huh. Min raise with the kings over here. More importantly, got the tens over here. Nobody called. The kings a win. That's lame. You want to do it? Do it. Not sure if. He shows. I'll show tens. Oh, three tens. I would have flopped with a straight. Very scary flop though. Even though we had a set. Fold. Say nice hand to the guy. Okay. 18 big blinds. Average is 19.5. We are getting there. We are getting there. Nitty gritty. 62 remain. Mm. 10-8 upsuit. This is a defend against the min raise. Not calling any jams of women are my favorite guy. <laughs> you guys know the song. I love that song. Fold this one here. Women are my favorite guy. Out in this space, there is nothing to be sad. <laughs> when we're out in this space, there is nothing to be sad. Okay, got nothing. Take it. Still nothing. Boom. Ace four. We might be in business, depending. If everybody folds small blind, I'm just gonna stick it in his face. Ace all in jam. Pull to me, I'm jamming. Jimmy to jam, I'm not jamming over you though. Nope. You can take it, Iga. Swiatek from Poland. Folding. Let's for funsies. I'm going to fold this one. Do nothing going on in the other table. I'll show you. Got 15 bigs, but whatever. The focus is. I didn't get that. Could you try? Shush. I had one point. What I have? 2.8 big blinds in this thing? You never give up in these things, I'm telling you. As long as you're in, you're not that far even off the average stack. One more double, and we're above average. The average is 20.8. We got 15. Right? Mm. AC Ducey, that's going to be a foldy. Other table, as I said, I'm gonna go bonkers. So, I'm trying to get chips. Oh, he called? What do you have? King, queen? Hold on. Oh, do I win yet? Hold on. You don't oh, I have a five. He's losing. Okay, I got a raise over here, though. Did I win? Ha <laughs> ha, five deuce one? Ha ha ha, doubled. Hee <laughs> hee, okay. Now let's focus on the most important one. I got 28 bigs over there. Big pimping. Shit. Oh, we got a jam. I guess I got to call this one. Fuck. Super sold. What is this? Or do I? Can I fold fucking ace 10 suited here?
No, I know you think I'm nuts. <laughs> we laid it down. And now we're going to jam this one. And over here we got jacks. Uh, raise this one. The sevens is the one we need to see. Folded, the ace ten suited. Just one time. He's calling. Ace jack. Okay, I've got to hold. Diamond? No, I can't even win with a fucking diamond. It's a diamond. Fuck off. Fucking both times I made fucking flushes too. Fuck. Fucking joke. Did that check raise me? I just put it all in. Fucking annoyed. So we're out of that one. Ah, <sighs> fuck. All right, on to the next table. I don't even know where we finished. Whatevs. Tilt. Flip and go. Where did I finish? 53rd, $2,662. Didn't get me even. <laughs> All right. Let's play this other shindig. Let me switch. Oh, I'm going to probably jump into the other one, too. The uh, $1,500. Let's keep this here on table two. So what do we got here? That's the mini main. What do we got for Millie Maker? We got an hour of late reg. Let's register this one. We're going to play a bunch of tables, guys. A bunch of tables. Two tables. Back, back to two tables. Here. I'm in the 1500 millimaker as well. Let's, uh, okay, that's going to be on live stream one. Let's put table. All right, so that's the Millie Maker, but we're going to change the title. I'm no longer in the flip and go. Mini Main has got the right title. This one needs to be changed. All right, Mini Main, we're doing good. Millie Maker, let's get the. What do we want to do here? Let's get the lobby. Tournament info deal. Let's first do that. I think that's right. Not sure. Yep. Oh wait, wrong one. Oh no, it's just, I got the wrong name on it. Okay, let's see. So, table two is the mini main. Table one, we have to change the name. <laughs> Michael Acevedo, he's the guy we were talking about who wrote that book, Modern Theory of Poker. Good book. If you want a book on poker, modern, get that one. Okay, what was I doing here? What did I need to change? The name of this one, right? What do we got here? Raising, folding. What the, what do we got on here? Fours. That was tilting. Two fours? What? What is this? Squeezing? All right, I have chips. I'm just going to fold. What was a flop? No four. 
All right, here we go. We're gonna try to get some chippies over here and just rip. Rippity dippity in the millie. The Doyle Brunson. Pull that. Ace four over here. Okay, let's switch over. So, live stream, we want to change the event banner to. Where is it? Millie Maker. Open. Done. I'm so good at this tech shit now. Okay, so we're in two tournaments. Millie Maker, Mini Main. Phantom. Hey, yeah, yeah, gives you. Get that table right. Ace five, is that one right? Nope. Hold on. Hang on. Okay, so I gotta get the mini main. Mini main clock. Let's go. Table two. Tournament info. Not that one. Tournament info. Is that one right? No, but I don't. Oh, whatever. It is what it is, guys. Relax. I'm not going to bother with it. I can't... Or you know what? Maybe I should put the lobby out. That's why. It's probably not showing up. There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's see now. If on table two... Tournament info. Millie maker. Done. Tournament info. That one. It's got to be right. Okay, we're going to fold here. Now is it right? 50, wait, mini main event. No, it's not right. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, tournament info. Mm, try this one. Is that one right? Yeah. Okay, so I got the clocks right. 12 minutes left of late ridge in this mini main. Average is 31, we've got about average. So we'll play it. Okay, Madman Austin Powers, yeah. Mm -hmm. Six. Playing two tournaments. Two tournaments. Two tournaments. They're day one heats. Trying to get through to day two. I believe in both the top 12. They, we finish when there's 12% of the field left. Yep. 20, 12% of the field in the mini main. And then this guy here. Yeah, 12%, 12%. And I've not qualified for either yet. You're watching over here. All right, 2.2 .2 with the two eights. Less chat interaction when I'm doing this now because I got to toggle and play two tables and all the things. I think this is a fun one because we are trying to gamble. There's 10 minutes left of late reg. So off we go to the middle. Go the chips. You have ace-king, I hope. Ace-ace. It's ace. better than ace-king. That ain't it. All right. Boom. Last bullet here. We got 10 minutes to go. 
Aces. That's a good hand. Good for you. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Jack seven suited over here. Gonna defend. Check. In the pursuit of getting a big stack on both sides. Well, I would have had a big old stack of chips. If I want, I want two eights. If he had ace king, you know, whatever. Or if he was bluffing. Seven three, I don't mind if I do. Okay, fine. Hmm. All right, what am I doing? Am I gambling over here with my favorite hand? Uh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Just can't lose. 10-7? How's that going to live or lose? Impossible. Cannot lose with 10 7. All right, I told you. If they would have called, it would have come 6 8 9. Don't worry. I know what's going on. All right, fives. We're going to jam it again. Remember, we are in gamble mode. Gamble, 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 gamble. Gamble, 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 gamble. No gamble, no future. Boom ski. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. The fifteen hundred dollar millimaker. What is this? Okay, Jack Queen four. Mm -hmm. How much time do I have in that? I think I'm in the last bullet on this actually, in the five hundred mini main. I believe I am. All right? Yeah. All oh, right. I had Ace King against Ace Jack lost. And then eights against aces. I'll toggle when there's a hand to play. Otherwise, I just keep it on the same table. Like I have seven four off on the other table. You don't need to see that fold, right? King Queen suited. Um, yeah. Yep. 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 They all just fold. I just do this every hand. Hmm. Average stack in the millimaker is 31 bigs. Ace three suited, huh? <laughs> what happens if you raise me now? What do you think's gonna happen, guys? What do you think's gonna happen if you try to steal this blind? Take a wild guess, Benediction. You might not want to mess. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get it. I mean, if you have it, you have it. But you're getting it. Dun, dun. Benediction from Peru. You called? Okay, good luck. I have your chip, but I'm suited. I have a wheel draw. Ha, flush. For sure. Yeah, of course. Ha, ha, ha. Sorry. Say sorry. Yep, ace-3. These ace-3 fucking suited. No wonder, man. They never lose. You just always, always automatically win when you just jam with those, right? You look like a genius. You're like, oh, I'd suited the ace wheel card. I had to jam, you know? I had to jam. It's a suited wheel ace card. It's solver, solver once. Solver once jam. So I jam. Now we're big pimping over there. Average 31. Okay. 
Not so good in this $500 mini main. I've never got a stack in this yet. What are we looking at here? What else is going on today? That's it. That'll be it. That will be it for the day. These two shindigs. Okay. Nothing doing on the other side, I promise. I'll show you. Nine four opsuit. Nope. All right. Well, over here because we're gambling. I, I don't think I have any rebuys left, but. I'm not, I mean, this is the $500 goofy doofy doofy thing. I'm just going to play, you know, just put it in, try to double. I don't want to nurse a baby stack. The whole goal is to build a big stack on day one in those. So we push the envelope. Maybe everybody folds. That's fine. We'll take it. Okay. That is mini main. Four minutes left till rebuys end. That one plays till, it'll say in a minute. End time. 141 players. Wow. Okay. That'll, so the day one of the mini main ends when there's 140 left. And there's 425 now. Interesting. So we got an ace. Shall I jam now or later? I just feel like doing it, right? Where does he cut off? Whatever. Let's see. Who is this guy? Whatever. Just take my money. Oh, he's thinking. That's good. Ha, ah, 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 ah. Ace from space in the big blind. Jack 10 suited. This is a fun hand, Jack 10 suited. This is very jammable. Jimity jam jam. Ah, oh, fuck. Can't call a jam. You can over jam, but we can't just call a jam with jack high. What was the flop? Ooh, two spades, two overs, nine, ten jack of spades. Oh well. Nine, seven of diamonds. Dun, 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 dun. I don't even know when the day twos are this low. Let's see, Lobby says, day two of the mini main is September 4th. That's tomorrow. So we only have one day to get into that, day two. That'll be tomorrow. And then, how about the, this one is not till next week, I'm pretty sure, the Millie Maker. Millie Maker is not till, yeah, September 11th. So we got plenty of time to get in on that one, but not that much time to get in this mini main. You gotta make it happen in the mini. Oh, guess what? There are more mini mates. Mini, mini, mini. There's another mini main hate starting in one minute. But I'm not gonna register that till later. But I will register it. And then we got 5 30 a.m., 8 30 a.m. Not that many heats left. Last chance at 8 30. Yeah. Day two starts at 11. September 5th is a good one, guys. September 5th is the 5K No Limit Hold'em 6 Max. That's going to be a good one. That's the one we'll, we'll, we'll grind hard in. 
five and six. Let's go with a aggressive. Aggressive. This is the Millie Maker we're looking at. King eight suited. Raising 2.2 size the big blind. Shit. Okay. Okay. King. Dangs it. Queen Jack suit. Okay. Grace. Wow, Queen Jack of Spades, that's quite a flop. Not. Fine. What tournament is tomorrow? That's what we're deciding, right? Because the mini main is tomorrow. I can't imagine waking up at 5.30 a.m. There is another heat of that today. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to play these two to the finish. And then if I do jump into that one, I'll do so from the comfort of my bed. And, you know, call it a day for the stream. Today was supposed to be flip and go day, and it was for a while. But my goodness, we did not... Do, we did not run good in that one at all. At all. Okay, let's see what's happening over here. Jack four suited against the late position. Raise. This is defend. We call. Sees a flop. And the flop is the top pair on the board. Which means we will be putting all, all, all of our chips. No matter what he's doing, unless the turn is like a nine queen, king, ace, some shit like that, then maybe we don't. But he's betting it all? Okay. You might have king, queen. You have king, queen? Ace, ten. I have jack, four. Fucking naturally. Man, it's like fucking... No, that's not a jack. Well, that's that. <laughs> okay, you win. I don't know what to tell you. You know, you win, you win. Nice hand. Okay, no more mini main for now. Okay, what are we on? So we are on just Millie Maker right now. We're on Millie Maker. Couple of tens. Do 2.2. Okay, let's qualify Millie Maker. Ha! What happened there? Oh, he still got outs, of course. He can hit a diamond. Holy smokes. What a flop. He hits, and then I hit the 10. Ha, lucky me. That woke me up, didn't it? All right. Let's go. Ooh, baby. 56 bigs. 10th out of 87. All right. All right. Now we're working with something. We're working with Greece, as they say. Or who somebody says. So this, the 500 millimaker, because they're small or whatever. Listen, I play every event from the start, right? almost all like the main big ones we start right on time and then um you know in these little day one heaty things i don't want to grind from level one so we'll jump into that in what is it it's got three more hours of late reg so we'll jump in there later sometime later
Doo doo. Doo doo. We're big pimping now. This thing will end when there's 20 players left. There's still 40 minutes left of late red. So we jumped into the Millie Maker kind of early because it's a little bit bigger of a buy-in. It's a 1,500. Typically some better players. It'll be nice to have a nice stack going into day two for this, which is not till next week, but might as well start qualifying now, right? Weird how Sunday out here by the pool is not as busy as it was yesterday at all. Let's see, what am I? Under the gun. I'm gonna fold that one. Still this hand, huh? I guess it's a little grayer outside, hence not. People not enjoying the pool day. Is there a 2K, 10K Super Millions? What? What? What are you talking about? Let me go to regular tournaments then. Someone's saying there's a 10K going on right now? If so, hold the phone. Oh. Oh, there's a pot limit Omaha. Hold on. What is this, 7.6 bigs? Yeah, I'm gonna gamble. I will gamble against that stack with Queen 10. Oh shit, he calls? Now, three ways I don't like it. Oh, I was dominated. Fuck. Oh, genius. I was like, oh, you dummy. Oh, you're smart. Watch. Every turn of the cards, right? What is this here? There's a high roller PLO. It's only f oh. The hell? Just taking a look at the different tournament offerings. Bracelet events. All right, this is going to be the right. This is going to be it. We're going to stream this till the end. Thirty minutes left of late reg. We do have, I think, two rebuys left. I believe. Leave. Yeah. What's up, home slice, home girl? What you sent? What you what you working with? 
I'm gonna call with these deuces because why not? No, I busted the flip and go. Yeah. So tilting. So I'm playing uh, one of the day one heats. Try to get in. The Millie Maker. How's that going? Okay. I'm just fucking around. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing but a chicken wing on a string. You going to do eyelash things? I'm going to cut them. They're so long. Somebody cut them down or something. No, oh, they look good to me. Ask the people. You too, not too, do you think they're going to judge you? No, I just... You don't have to come over here. I feel like they're touching me here. Your eyebrows? No, the, oh, the oh, eyelashes. I feel like these are, like, hitting me. Like... On the sides? Yeah. Like, on the sides. They're, just, they're a little big on the sides, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to cut this down a little. Okay, honey. I love you. I love you, too. Have a great day at the spa. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is a spa. I know it is a spa. We have your 10-4 off. Did I see that right? Okay, I believe I did. I believe I did see that right. North 4. Interesting. Approach. Let's see. Was that right? 10-4 off suit? Okay. Duly noted. On the next break, I'm going to do a coffee. I figured out how to make the espresso a little bigger. You just let the water run a little longer. Genius. And then it becomes a little Americano-like. I'm a play is game it. I'm going to zone out for a moment, ladies and gents. I'm going to zone out short for a short, brief period. Taken. Uh, what time is it? 2.44 in the p.m. Getting comfy. Feels like coffee time. You can tell, right?
What was I going to say? Probably something lame. Definitely need a need a need a need a need a need the coffee. Oh, I remember what I was doing. I was looking at my recovery. What? Why is that bothering me? What are we doing? Going all in? I think so. Do 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 do. Let's go, baby. Two tens. Beat that Andre Abreu. What do you have, Ace King? All right, here it is. This is poker. This is it. This is what we do. Play a pair versus two over cards every freaking time, and then we hope that we win and he loses. Woo! Ha! Close one. Thought it was the King of Diamonds for a second. Okay. Look at that. Look at that right there, day. Oh yeah, we got big chips now. We got a big old stack. We're ninth out of 73 people. There we go. We got Jan Zarens, another top pro here. Look at all those beautiful trophies he got going on over there. All right. Okay, hello. Now we're now we talking, huh? Now we talking 59 big blinds. We in a nice pot. Da 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 Hmm. Daniel, what type of music you listen to? I listen to all kinds, but I grew up with my friends from Jamaica, so we was listening to lots of reggae, but we got the hip-hop, we got the NWA, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. What we don't listen to, no country, thank you. No heavy metal, thank you. It's a different crew. Um, hi, best list from Malaysia. I'm pretty sure Duck is not. Duck would be a bird, right? Pretty sure. <laughs> Oh, let's see. There. I'm going to order. I'm going to order my property, my wife. She is mine. I'm going to order her to give me a little mini, mini, a mid back rub in the middle. A little sore. I don't know if it's from the chair or what. Which type of spa? She's been going to this spa around the corner. The eyebrows, do the lashes, fix the hair, all the things every day. I'm going to have an, espre an espresso. That's funny. I'm going to have an espresso on the break. Dude. So, Cardis with Ace King. Ace King holds. Who's this guy? 700k. Yeah. All right. 10 8 of the suited variety. Interesting spa with the guy here with 7.9, 8. I was just deciding whether I would open. It's close with that shorty there. Brazil. 3.4 million in earnings is Um Reno River. Ooh, I would have made a straight, but look at that. Bigger straight. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to do it. Let's do it in this one. In this Millie Maker. Let's get through for a day two on September 11th. Let's see what other tournaments. we got a 5K6 Max coming up on Tuesday. I have the list here. Let's take a look. Hang on. Got to delete a bunch of pictures. I do so much. What happened to my...
There it is. Delete. Now take a look at the bracelet schedule. Alright, so. Okay. So, tomorrow, the only thing it's the day two of the mini main event no limit all them if 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 we do not qualify Kishun for this wait if it's not qualification for this then we will play Hmm, what do we play tomorrow? We have to play morning mini main. So one of the two things will happen. Yeah, no, I think tomorrow we're just going to wake up fucking... Well, what if I go drinking tonight with the wife? Which we never do. We say we're going to do all the time. We never do. Um, ooh, look, I'm just looking at the schedule coming up. All right, so tomorrow's a whatever day. We're not sure. The day after, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good one. September 5th. We have a 5k, 6 max, no limit holding tournament. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy into that now. Okay? I'm going to buy into the 6 max now and give you guys a chance to buy a piece. Okay? So go ahead. Boom. Should be up now. I'm due it five minutes in the future. Make sure you get a chance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to buy into the 5k, 6 max. Now's your chance to get a piece of the 5k, 6 max. That's the one we're going to run good in, obviously. There it is. 5K, six-handed, no limit. What I'll do is I'll put up... For you, This it's already there, so be prepared. I am going to register for it now. Register. Register. Bonus chips available. Okay, and I'm going to sell action. Sell my action. Sell, share, sell. I'm going to give you guys a chance to buy 25%. You'll have to go into the lobby on GG. And you buy direct. I believe there might be on poker stake too. Automatic. Set markup. No markup. Cap the amount of shares a player can buy. Yes, I want to cap that. What is it? 6.8 port 4 bigs? Yeah, all right. Five crap. What do you got? Ace-8? Great. Great. Oh, it is great. Poker, the best hand doesn't win in poker. Why would you guys ever think so? Slow squeeze. Okay. So, share prize for my re-entries? No, we can't do that. Cap the amount a player can buy. Yes. Cap the amount of shares someone can buy. Oh, you can do 0.1%. Should I do half a percent? Yeah, I'll give you guys a chance. So I want a lot of people to have a chance to buy. So I'm gonna put the cap at half a percent. Half a percent for the 5K. Half a percent, wait, yep. Yeah. Nick my money. Foldy. King Queenie. What the hell? Ah, okay. Probably an ace. Or something. Holy Shemion! I like this guy. Really cool guy. Good poker player. Good to see him back. He's got 9.6 million in winnings, and I'm not surprised. Very good player from Germany or Austria, one of them places. Hey, there's Trex Claus, the ace-jack of clubs guy who got us yesterday. Nice hand, bud. What can I do? What could I do, right? Ok. 
Chris Huney. We know Chris. You see him at the hockey games all the time. He's all in again. All right. I am clicking the sell action button. It should be up for you guys any moment now. Boom. Sell action. 25%. This is for the 5K. No limit. Six max. Be right back. I'm going to make a coffee. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, here's the deal. I think I've been converted officially. I really do. I've always been like, I don't like espresso guy, right? I don't like it. I don't like espresso. But I actually do like espresso. <laughs> I like it with a little bit of, you know, like Americano style. It's quite good. It's very tasty coffee there. All right.
Okay, so what are we doing here? We've got a bunch of pros here. All the pros. This dude, Smijkovic, 5.5 million. Ramiro Patron, 5.6 million. Chris Huni, 3 million. Oli Shemion, 9.6 million. Trez Claus, 4 million. You see what I'm saying? What the hell is this table? Mike Lasavito, 47K. I think he's new to the tournaments in here. And we got Maimoni, of course. Maimoni, 11 fucking million. Look at these guys. Beasts. Thank you, Valdemar Y. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Appreciate all those that are watching. Back to the schedule. Oh, before I forget. Ha ha. Back to the schedule at hand. So I said, oh, did I put up the price? Did, I did you guys buy? Oh, I left a lot open. Okay. I believe you can still buy. If you like. All right, people starting to. Oh, you just you no no it's going quick now. I think you guys just figured it out that it's available. Okay, we go into the lobby. GG Poker client. I'll let you know. Well, I'm five minutes in the future, but I'll let you know when I. Well, what's the difference? You'll know anyway. As of now, still 8.2% left because I capped the amount you could buy at half a percent. All right, so what is the deal? That's Tuesday. Thursday's the big 500 bounty. Saturday is an ultra deep stack no limit hold'em. Sunday, right? It's a 1K secret bounty pot limit Omaha. That sounds fab. I love Omaha. Yeah, that's next Sunday. And then we'd play the Millie Maker next Monday. The day two. Then we've got the 5K short deck super fun event very stoked to play that and then that's gonna be it then it's off to las vegas so it's man it feels like time flies it's like what day did we get here 28 how many days have i been here got here what how many days is in the row i don't know four or five days feels like it makes sense I don't know. does it we leave in 10 days yeah all right Get that music back up. What happened to my music? Oh, there it is. I like seeing a lot of people who got a piece. I see 39 stakers already. There's 2.5% left. We'll get it to a bunch of people. Give you guys all a chance to have a piece. Anybody who wants a little sweat action for Tuesday's 5K. Maybe tomorrow, like, there's a small chance I just take a day off, right? It's just Monday. It's whatevs, right? Maybe a, maybe I deserve a day off, too, just in between. Because it's going to be a long stream schedule, right? For a day. Where is Daniel living right now? What city is the hotel? The city is Vancouver, Canada. I am in Canada. I wish I could play from home. I mean, love it here, but like, wouldn't be great from the us near the free and for the free United States of America could just play online poker like normal people. Who said that? Mihai said he's only watching chat from Twitch. That's not true. You just tweeted on YouTube and you said, I only watch from Twitch. I see it all. I get them all, all together. Ah.
It's espresso, not expresso. I say it how I like to say it, okay? I get to choose what it is. I identify the word, okay, as espresso. That's how I identify the word, understood? I identify the word as expresso. So you can't tell me I'm wrong or it's not real because that's how I identify the word. I see it and I see it spelled E-S-P-R-E-S-S-O and I say expresso because that's how I want to do it. And that's what I'm going to do. And you can't stop me. And you must abide. I like espresso long pour is what it's called. Okay. Ooh, what are you doing, Michael Acevedo? Acevedo, Acevedo. You are calling an under the gun race from middle position. I have to think your hand is better than mine. Especially when the king is coming. So I'm going to check for you. Checking the flop for you, Michael Acevedo. Uh, not sure if. I'll give him a little not sure if. Breathing heavy. Well, he's going to be balanced with his check back range. He's going to be playing game theory optimal. So I will check my hand. We beat a couple hands. Some Queen Jack suited, but he bet he bluffs those. Wow. Four, five, seven, eight, king now. He doesn't have a six, right? No real six that he has. A6 suited, no. I think this is a good spot to overbet bluff. I do think it's a good spot to overbet bluff. Like bet nine. Yeah, he's gonna win, right? Ace what? Ace queen. Okay, he had spades too. Ah, fuck, I should have bluffed. I'll tell you what, uh, going forward, I'm just gonna be trusting my instincts more in these spots because I was like, this is a really good spot for me because I can have a six. Six, seven suited, five, six suited, ace, six suited, right? He's not calling with a six in his hand very often. You know? Yeah, I should have. And the thing is, a very small bet's gonna get called by a king a lot. You need to really put the pedal to the metal there and over bet. That was the play. I knew it too. All right. Hmm. Or even just a pot size bet. Pot size bet. The question is, what is he? He's just not checking back queen jack, queen ten. So he's going to bluff those. And he's happy to check back his ace queens because they have more showdown value. Especially if I'm checking ace nine there. Yeah. We're going to three bet him this time, though. We're going to squeeze for sure. We're going to make it 8.2. Got two players out of position against two guys. We are going to activate for 8.2. Sribet. All right. Hope they just fold, fold. That'd be the, the desired. Option C for my money's kind of in a spot where I'm really putting him to a jam spot in a lot of ways. Six, actually, he could call and see a flop. All right, I'll take it. AC Ducey suited. <laughs> that fucking works every time, doesn't it? Every time you just have a suited wheel. No wonder these guys fucking do it all the time. It just always wins. Nobody ever has it. Only when you have that. If you have jacks, they have aces. But if you. If you have ace two suited, they just fold. All right, we're deep enough. Take a flop ski. Put the fours on the button. Try to nail a set ski. Ah. Holy Shemion wants to do the squeezing. 
Holy Shemion liked to squeeze from the small blind. Holy Shemion, he want to squeeze from the blind. Go ahead, I will fold, you will take it down. Ooh, Holy let one go. Holy said no. Okay. Ace, six, and three. I will bluff this pot. Bigger size, three. Pocket fours, three on the A6-3 board. Some fun turn cards. A five, deuce, four of... <laughs> Two fours, take the money. Turn six, river five. I just take the money. See, small bet. Well, actually, a little more than a small bet. 40%. Okay, my package sold out. Sorry about that. Yeah, that'll happen, you know? Six max is way more fun. I much prefer playing shorthanded. Shorthanded poker. <sighs> Monster, her motor, her whoever you asked about Twitch. Monster187. You can stream on Twitch and all that stuff at the same time. You just can't be a partner and do that. And I'm, I've never, I don't care about being a Twitch partner. I'm not, whatever. I don't need to be a part. I don't need to be a partner. I got myself a partner. Partner for life. Four or five suited? No. No. I had a hand I was going to check earlier. Eight handed. Fifty two, seventy two, yeah. Space. So that is say twenty five and a half. What's your favorite drink to have while playing? Well, I don't drink when I play. It's usually water. But if I'm screwing around, I like to have a drink. I don't know. Like I used to drink beer, wine, and if I was gonna do like vodka, it would be Tito's water, splash of pineapple with a lime. It's a nice, easy, fresh drink. Isn't ace nine suited from under the gun and nine handed a little bit loose? Uh, we're not nine handed. It's eight handed. You know, we're eight handed, which makes a difference, but whatever. I don't think it's too loose. I don't think you'll have a lot of top pros just folding ace nine suited in tournaments, to be honest with you. Under the gun. But a fair question. All loosey goosey drinking an X espresso. Poppy Jack, if it's out of focus, that's you. Nobody else is having that problem. Cannot fix your computer and your internet. Okay, rebuys are over. We did not need one. We will be playing this heat until there are 23 players remaining. And then they return on September 11th. Those remaining, we play down to the final 100. And then those final 100 will all be off to Bahamas this December for the World Series of Poker in Paradise. Join us. 
Mm. What does it say on my t-shirt? It says, Doyle and Puggy and Slim and Moss, Contenders Clothing, with the cards there. You can buy them at contendersclothing.com. Use promo code KIDPOKER20, KIDPOKER20, for 20% off on your purchases at contendersclothing.com. Queens against Ace King. James Ufi, Ufu. I love mixed games, James. I love mixed games. I don't foresee them happening here anytime soon. Because unfortunately, without the United States players, you don't have as big of an, enough of a player pool. Unfortunate. I hate that, but it's true. Um, so internationally, mixed games are just not that popular. But I wish they were, because they're so much more fun for me to play. Renan Brushi got a bracelet on here. Got three million in winnings. Benjamin Miner, one point six million in winnings. Bartek Machon is our second chip leader. He's got four hundred thirty-four thousand in winnings. I think it's about time that Dineggs has some winnings. Shetlef from Austria, one million. How many players left? Look, it says right here. Right there in the top left corner. That I'm popping it out, but you can see it anytime you want. 62 out of 200 are left. And we'll be done when there's 24 left. This is a playable hand. Mm. Little teeny teeny eensy beensy re-raises because of the stack sizes of the original razor. You know, this isn't a play I would make if we're 100 big blinds deep. If he goes all in, we call. We gamble again. Tell him to come on. Tell him to come on. He did come on. Oh, he's going to throw the boxing gloves. Oh, at him. I don't love that he called, honestly. Let's just have a jack, I guess. He's going to be able to... I mean, I just don't see what bluffs there he has here. There are none. King-10, 10, 10 jack, king-queen, pocket pairs, ace-jack. I'll have a draw. That's not a bluff. If that was a bluff, that's pretty impressive. If you had ace jack and just bluffed me. Actually, the beer of choice that I would go with is a Molson Dry. It's a, I don't even know if they still have it around most places, but growing up, that was my beer of choice. I still like it.
Did you get back on the gym grind yet? Yeah, decently. After the World Series, I put a solid four weeks in at home. And I've been going to the gym here. I've been walking every day. Getting, you know, I'm walking like an hour around the city. Just after this. I usually just walk around for about an hour. Hitting the gym. You know, not every single day because I've been playing these things. But pretty consistently. Doing shorter workouts just so I can get them in. Steps wise, I get, you know. Yesterday I walked. I'm getting like 12, 13,000 steps every day. Just walking around the city. Walking around the city. Four five off suit. Nope. Came all the way back for that. All right. Hmm. Okay, so we were playing down to 24 players. That means we got to lose 30 more. And then we are on to day two. Which will be September 11th. Bartek Machon from Brazil. It's a good flop for me. We block the seven eight of hearts. Block some bluffs too, like six, seven. I, I, when I bet this flop, I would have already told you he was check raising, and I'm not folding. But I oh, literally in my head, I bet this flop, 100% expecting him to check raise, expecting. If you can believe it, I expected this guy to check raise on these paired boards. So much better for the big blind. And you know, good uh, aggro Brazilian is going to attack these spots, especially when he's on the chip lead here. Never folding. Sevens. Well, he's setting up a river jam, right? So he's saying eight or, or bluff, and we're gonna find out. Okay, that's a brick, basically, unless he had like jack tennis spades or some shit. Hmm. Ah, sweet, he gave up. Check is good. What'd I tell you, bro? I knew! I, I was like, when I bet the flop, I bet it fully expecting him to go after these paired boards. That's the thing you gotta watch out for. Like, you know, you're playing against really good players. 
those little paired boards, like the 446s, the 5s, your their defending range is going to hit those a lot more than yours. So they a lot of good players will check raise you a lot there and really put the pressure on. He didn't go for the river bluff, but I promise you, I was going to snap it. Snap it off. Mm -hmm. Oh, now who's a big dog? I'm sitting 11 out of 53. Okay. Nice little pot we won there from Bartek Machon. Tried to check raise rob me with the queen six off ski. And then he gave up ski. He was going to probably bluff a spade because he had a spade in his hand. But I wasn't folding anything on that river. Oh, jam I call. Fucking snap. So he made a good check at least. Oh, how about now? How about now? Huh? Come on, jam. Somebody do it. I really want to just get it in here pre with somebody. I, I dare you. Benjamin, you should do it. What are you waiting for? Come on, Bartek. Show me what's up. Show me how tough you are. Oh, man, we're not in the short stack. That's no fun. Boring. All right. We'll call your bluff. Well, he has jacks and he tanked with seven bigs. Oh, he's got spades now. Diamond. Whew. It's a pot. It wasn't as big as we would have liked. We'd like one of the big boys to jam, but we'll take it. 60 bigs up to sixth place now. Sixth in chips now in this heat. Playing down to 24 players. There are 52 remaining. Bayara is chip leader. What do we get? A raise here from the button? This is. Too good to fold, ace-jack suited. All right, well, you, if you've got the freaking overpair now, you're getting all my money again. I can't fold now under any circumstances. A king turn is the worst card. King is bad. That's about it, though. Do we put it in now? Or call and let him have two free cards? Oh, shit. Naturally. I'm just fucking fold. I don't give a fuck. Aces. I run into aces a lot, it feels like. Hmm. Oh, we hit the perfect flop, right? Jack 7 3 rainbow with a heart. Like, oh, just let's cooler us as bad as possible. You know what I mean? Fuck. Okay, back to average stack. Dude, this might be a, a tilty check raise bluff bet bet. If you bet small, I'm, I'm going to check raise this flop. Yep.
because the guy just had aces. Took all my money with the ace jack. This is a very, very clear bluff spot. Trying to get him a bluff a bluff a nine. He said I suck. Haha. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> Sometimes you make your own shit happen. I had a very good bluffing hand. I didn't have a diamond, which is good there because you want him to have missed diamonds, right? So that's why I was a very good bluff candidate. I also have an eight, which blocks the eight ten, which is one of the straights that got there. And we're just like, if he has ace nine or something, he's got a tough call. Like, he doesn't beat that much. So we did good there. Back in action. Making things happen. The fucking ace jack against the aces, though. It's like squeeze spot from the button. Flop top top with a backdoor flush draw on jack seven three rainbow. Hmm. We're not playing scared in these things. We got a whole week to build a stack, right? So there's no reason to like be afraid. We gotta, we gotta play. That's true of both the ace jack suited and the eight six off and the two sevens we played before. Two of the three we won. It'd be nice to just get through, huh? We don't have to worry about playing the heats anymore for the Millie Maker. Take those days off, then we'll focus on... Oh, speaking of... Still got a lot of late reg available in the, in the mini main. Two more hours of it. We shall wait till about 30 minutes. Daniel, what is attempt to steal? Attempt to steal is just based on where you raise from if you're first in. So if you notice a guy raises in the butt, small blind button or cutoff, he's first in, he raises, that's considered attempt to steal. Doesn't mean that they have stealing cards, but you notice a guy, if let's say he's in those positions and he does it 90% of the time, well, you can probably guess that those are not always good hands. Let's look at the attempt to steals. So 42% over here, 70%. Well, he hasn't been here, 12%. We got, a set. that's a very low attempt to steal. But it's a very small number of hands. Let me see. Let me, well, not really. So that's no attempts to steal. So 40, so here we go. We got, Renan is, is going for it, right? So if you just looked at this in theory, You'd be like, all right, when this guy run on Brucey raises in those positions, if he's doing it 70% of the time, it's just more likely that he's got a weaker hand. This guy, 42%, a little less. And that's how you use the statistics that are available to everybody within the software at ggpoker.com. I would never fold it. The old Daniel knows better than defend ace jack suited there. What? I wouldn't I never folded ace jack suited. Come on, bro. Especially to a small three bet. Like Now they say such a fish because I lost the pot. Okay. Okay, bro. The Moogle, you use the stats available to you here in the site. You're not allowed to use any other sort of tracking software on GG Poker. This is it. They give you what they give you. 
and they give you a poker craft. You can check your own stats in, in great detail whenever you like. Take a deep dive. That's not true. Hirad VL says, people with aces bet too small inducing a jam. Bet too... This is faulty thinking. They're going to raise that size with all their good hands and bad hands. You think people at this level that are good players like go, oh, when I have this hand, I'll raise this much. When I have this hand, I'll raise that much. No, they don't give it away with their bet sizing like that. Only really bad weak players do that. Hmm. Forty-nine left, halfway there. Is my house flooded? I don't know. I'm not in Vegas. What am I doing here? <laughs> That's funny. Throw a water bucket at his face. <laughs> Thank you, you. It's Rick. Yo, it's Rick. Why didn't I jam the river? I believe you're talking about the 6-8 bluff. Because I want to be able to represent a wider range of hands, like some weaker two-pair hands, maybe just even top pair. And um, for an all-in size, you're more polar. It means like you're more like big, big hand or bluff. So I'd be representing, you know, a thinner range of hands for value. Straight. <laughs> Fucking that one. When you run high, you run hot, bro. Gilgamesh goes down. Unlucky. This guy left or something? Hadn't shown up. Sixty-eight hundred. There's one big blind left. Head on his beach. Must have. I don't know. Internet connection. Who knows? Ben Boudreaux, I can't share my hockey stuff because the guys in the pool that I do, they might be watching or listening. I can't give away my secrets, but I have very specific targets, as always, for fantasy. And I've got my beautiful core of young studs, top-rated young players. My core, okay? Jack Hughes, have him signed until he's 34 years old. Tim Strutzel, I call him Strutzel. We got him signed for, for three more years. We got Jason Robertson, another kid that came out of nowhere. Got him signed for three more years. We got Dylan Cousins, another kid who's coming out strong for Buffalo. Then we got Sebastian Ajo, who we've had for a while. This is going to be his last three-year contract on my fantasy team. So that's the main five, okay? Then we have some fill-ins, you know, deeper down the lineup. We got the Riley Smith, Ricard Raquel combo in Pittsburgh. We got Tommy Novak in Nashville. We got Dylan Dubé, some of the keeps. On defense, we've got some young, some young crop. Thomas Harley, we got uh, Adam Boquist, 
not panning out so well. Jamie Drysdale. And then uh, we're going to have Mackenzie Weger and some cheaper shitty guys like Matt Wall, Cody Cece. Oops. Goaltending so far. I got You get three goalies. We go by team. I got Calgary, Kings, and I'm adding one third one, and I can't tell you which one because I'm adding them at the draft. So that's the base of the team, and then what we do is you have money to spend at the free free agent act draft. So I'll be, I'll be spending a decent amount of my money on defense. I'm going to add a couple big stud defensemen, and then probably one more forward, and I have them exactly panned out for who. That's it. That's all I'm telling you. But I have strat, deep strat. Hmm. So apparently, Renan is Henan in Portuguese. Henan Bruschi. Whatever. What do you want for my life? I didn't know. Thanks for telling me. This guy's all in. 45 left. It'll be nice. I just want to get through. Not that I'm gonna get like be like, oh, let's play tight to get through the day, but it would be nice to just be done, done my day one in the Millie Maker. Oh, that's in the money too. Oh, so if we make it through the day, yeah, we're in the money. Duh. Duh. So yeah, we're 20 out of the money, okay? Thank you, Wild Swarm. Randy Holcomb, what are you doing with your life? You're, you know, you're having fun, you're shooting the shit, watching a little stream. That's true, Hirad VL. In the smaller stakes, people give away the strength of their hand with their sizes, right? Oh, small three bet? They have, you know, aces. In the high stakes, that's not what they do. And you know this, so it's good to hear that you you know, you know recognize. But yeah, like some people say, oh, when he bet that much, it screamed of a bluff. It didn't scream of anything, okay? Just enough. Ace and Jack for the double. Is my iPad even charged up? Probably got to charge up my iPad. If I can screw around and play on that later. Let's see, yeah, fold that. Three suited. Don't mind if I duded. Trey Claus got me with Ace Jack suited a while ago. Do I play short deck? Yes, and I love short deck. I'm very excited about that. I will be focused in on that one. Very focused in. We have an ace high board. Good for the razor. The big blind defense. So I'm going to explain this concept to you guys. Um, how do ranges work when it comes? Salud, multabafta, baldo. 
I'm gonna say thank you. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys an extreme example, something to chew on, okay? So let's somebody, say somebody raises under the gun, right? That range looks like, let's say that for example, this is a square of the range, right? So you're gonna raise with a much tighter range, right? Let's say, you know, let's say there was a total of 20 hands you would raise from under the gun. Obviously there's more. Well, a lot of those will have an ace in it, right? So the majority of the ranges you have is gonna have an ace in it, okay? Let's say it falls to the big blind, the big blind calls. Well, the big blind's calling with a bigger range, right? So because let's say this, so let's say that for example, the big blind's calling with 50 different hands, okay? The percentage of those hands that are gonna have an ace in it are much smaller percentage wise, right? Even if both players had this ace the exact same amount of times, but because there's a smaller group of hands to choose from for the under the gun raiser, because they're not playing like the 10-6 suiteds and stuff like that, the big blind will, when an ace does flop, it's a range advantage situation for the raiser, not the big blind. What what are good for big blinds? Flops like four, five, seven. Now four, five, seven, okay. Look at the range of hands, as I said, very ace high heavy. There's not a lot of like six, seven, five, six little things in there. There is for the big blind. So it's a really important concept to think about when you're playing post flop and understanding what to do is um, who is the flop better for in theory? Whose range is it better for in theory? And then you go from there and you make your exploits and you, you do what you gotta do. Right? Back in that bag again. Mm. Is Ole still in? I don't know. Don't know. Back in that bag again. Back in that bag again. Oh, Mike Caldwell. You played with Brian Steinberg. Yeah, you're the guy who said I shaved my balls for this? What's up, Mike Caldwell? How you doing? Put that nani in a hole again. Well, that's nice. Andrew Brown said nice things about me. I appreciate that. I like Andrew Brown, good guy. What do the little numbers next to the names mean? That's the percentage of hands they've played. 30, 22%, 22, are yours truly, 23. You, you cover, hover over their name, you see even more statistics. See, VPIP, 30. Blah, 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 okay? Against the min raise, it's a must call with 9-7. Can get away from that though. Jam my, touch my, touch my ways. No, I think 12% of the field is good for, for making it through to day two. Legs. Love the Frex Lex Friedman podcast. Do I plan on doing more? I do podcasts here and there when I can. I get asked a lot do different types of podcasts, but I can't do them all because it's too much. He really needs to consider fiber in his diet. Yeah, you tell a vegan they need to consider fiber in your diet as if a fucking vegan diet isn't full of fiber. Very funny, Sapphire. <laughs> fiber. Are we in tank mode now? No. He's legit. I can't wait for the weekend. I can't wait for the TD. Ba da ba 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 pee pee. 
I get a little goofy. Played her a go. The dogs do hang with Patty. They hang at her house. She's got a couple dogs. Rocky and Apollo doing good. They're okay. You're never willing to. You're never willing to respond to me. Rancid from Twitch. You're right. I won't respond to you, Rancid. Especially after that comment. Nope. Do I see Alex Ovechkin scoring more than Wayne Gretzky? Yes, I do. I think he's going to do it. Hey, as long as he stays healthy. Got to play another two seasons, I think. What's up, Jimmy Bluffett? Okay, Ace Four suited over here. Jimmy Bluffett in the YouTube chat. Doing his thing. Oh, fuck. What do we got here? Under the gun rays here. Buzz, nuzz, shuzz, nizz, Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We respect under the gun raises from people who are respectful. Trey Claw looks like a respectful individual with his stats. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Legs. Three minutes till break time. Look at this big fucking sh Oh, he's shipping 21. Shet left 12. Trey Claus. He folded. What was a flop? Did we flop it? Nope. That was about as whiffity whiff whiff as you can get. Bankroll. This is from the vlog. Yo, Ro. Add it up. This is obviously a fold if anybody three bets. Add it up. Add it up. Peso. Bankroll. Yo, Ro. Add it up. Add it up. I'm doing me. I'm never doing me. I'm never doing me. We got called by a big blind. And as I said, the ace is a much better hand for our range. So we're going to range bet pretty much when it comes in. Ace, queen, nine now. Add it up. Add it up. Bankroll. Yo roll, peso, add it up, add it up, bankroll, boom, 40%, boom. Give you a good price to draw if you want to, because I got you. You can raise me now, and I'm never going to fold, but a boop, boom, boop, boom. Add it up, add it up, bankroll. <clears throat> Ship it. Add it up, bankroll, yo roll. Peso, add it up. And you're doing me, which is rather with me. Add it up. Add it up. Peso, slow roll. Two minutes, 2p. That's what we do, what we do on the breaks. What's Amanda up to today? She went to go get her lashes redone. She thought they were too f fluffy, I think. Question, what determines if an event is for bracelets? Well, it's designated, right? If you see, like, in the software, you see a bracelet, that means it's for a bracelet. They have a list of events that are bracelets, and there's a whole bunch of soft uh, side events that are not. Hmm, it's just that simple. One minute. P time, P time. I can't wait for the 5K6 Max, because that's, like, it's going to be really good players. And it's more fun for me playing against really good players because it allows me to just not not take shortcuts in a sense and just really go for it. And I kind of like that. You know, when you play against weaker players, not saying that they're weak here, they're good, but you kind of want to make some major exploits. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Huberto bounce back. I played Huberto in the, when I went to Calgary. Got heads up with Huberto in the little charity event we had. Really nice guy. Had a terrible year in Calgary. I do think... The new coach, the new situation is going to be much better for him. That wasn't good for him playing under Sutter. Break time. Boom. What does VPIP stand for? Voluntary put in pot.
Okie dokie. Okay, how long? How much longer do you think this will take? It's four o'clock now. We got to bus seventeen people, probably in an hour. I think maybe by we'll be done in an hour ish. <laughs> Whoa. Boat's leaving. It's letting us know. You hear that? I work hard every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work hard. I work hard every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't play that song because it's a royalty situation. We did pay for, like, on YouTube, you can get um, some songs on this uh, website, but uh, not for streaming, because it's all over different platforms. All right, we have an average, a little over average, 264. Everybody's pretty close to this table. This is, this is, a, this is a hand. Now, there's no real shorties here, right? Except for Trey Clauses and Renan, or oh, Henan is on the shorter side, so. Happy to get in with them. They'll love getting it in for 37 bigs with ace queen suited, depending where the raises come. But now it's 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 go time, right? Against that, we're just jamming it. Jam and go. Folded. All right, take it. It's a nat. That's a net an automatic. So blinds are now up. Against these madmen, I'm actually just gonna fold. Bartek. One of the things about playing against good players is this. If you open on the button and steal a lot, and you don't call you don't have like enough calls, then they can just print by jamming in your face. With like any two. So you wanna make sure you're a little more snug. Or that you're calling appropriately. Bartek Mashon. Was Benjamin trapping from the small with the limp? Oh yes, he was. Oh, <laughs> certainly was trapping. That was a flop. We never would have got to this flop. Two big blinds at this stage, saving them is big. So you want it's like a balance between okay, we want to play aggressive enough where we're stealing blinds, picking up annies, but we also don't want to be sloppy, just be giving away two, two, two here and there in uncomfortable situations. Forty players remain, sixteen must go. Average is thirty-one big blinds. We have plenty of stacks under 20, under 10, well, under 20, not, not too many under 10, there's only one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Decent amount of play in this thing, a lot different than, you know, the flip. David Morrill, the answer is Phil Ivey, even in that game. Location. Oh, that's cool. There's like little prompts in Twitch. You put like exclamation mark and a question and the night bot tells you. Vancouver, Canada. All right, I'm looking, finish, looking forward to finishing strong here. 
Holy Shemmy on his back with no chips. He's on a short stack, 8.9's got. That's not a lot. He's in last place now, but he's still got a shot. Da da. Never over till it's over. King Jack, Ace Eight, Hearts coming in. Baldau din Romania, Kastiga, Akuma, Aulio, Buna, Unorok. Does Amanda like Canada? Asks Andrew Humphrey. She does, she likes it here. She really likes the vibe of being downtown. For her, I think, well, the city's perfect and great. She likes being in the city. She she also likes being by the water. So this is, kills two birds with one She likes hotel life too. Loves hotels. I'm more of like a Airbnb guy. You know, rent a house, have a kitchen, cook, all that stuff. She's more of a order room service. You know. Good luck, Oli Shemian. Oli Shemian, what happened to your brother, man? You want to go in with the 8.7 big blind right chassel from under the gun plus one, and you get called from the small blind. Hey, non brushy. Coming for 17, no. Why am I right there? So, ace queen, you have ace five suited. This shall never lose, you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, you're going to lose, no, because the boy, you have a queen right there on the flop. Queen going to be the ace five every time. What happened, Oli? Yeah, don't worry, Oli, I win the next one. It's all good. He ain't gonna have a play this hand. He's queen in the small blind against a small stack raising. You can't blame the boy, right? Yeah, man. But you don't know, say, as I speak, Pierre Poitou, I was born and raised with a Jamaican them, so. I know nothing for me. Yep. Legit Patois, y'all. No, no, no. This is a defend against the min race. Suited. Under the gun doesn't mind. We don't mind as much. Like some hands against under the gun raise are like ugh, like ace nine offs and shit. But like this hand is not going to interfere too much with the under the gun raising range. And we're obviously just taking the price to try to hit lightning in a bottle. Three three queen flop something you know flushes straights. It's it's got potential for one chip. We got a gut shot now. Remember we talked about this ace high board. Now it's reversed for us, right? So he's going to have an ace a lot more than we are. And if he bets anything less than min, we're going to fold. But if he does go for min... Anything bigger than, like, quarter pot. All right, so for that price, I can call. There's a pair. Hopefully he checks back turn. He may do that with an ace sometimes too. Like if he has ace jack, or if, let's say an ace queen with the queen of spades, or even the ace of spades or something like that. He could just check back here because he's not worried about a spade rolling off. All right, well, I'm getting another good price. Five to one to hit a three, four, five that's not a spade. Well, that's not us. Ah, oh, we don't win this pot. But it was cheap. Okay, he did have that hand. See? <laughs> he had the ace of spades, so he's charging me because he figured I didn't have a lot of outs. What he didn't realize, though, is I actually did have quite a few. So getting that price, even though any of the three, four, fives that were a spade were no good for me, but uh, it, it was enough. It was enough to defend there. I was getting a go okay price. Do, 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 do. 37 remain 24 we'll move on to the money to day two to an opportunity to make the final hundred of the millimaker in paradise you'll get a package to go to bahamas 
the lovely beaches in the Atlantis Resort. Yours truly will be there for the duration, playing each and every day. Thank you, you old it's Rick. Isn't it weird, right, Joey Rees? You can just, like, watch people in their living room play for bracelets while they chat about it. No, I'm really... David Morrill, I'm bad at chess. I'm terrible. I'm, like, a between 12... I mean, at most I was, like, barely a 1,300... But I'm like 1200 on chess.com ish. Amanda likes the gloomy. It's not gloomy. It's just uh, a little gray. She likes that kind of weather. Baldao Chinch. Bald Owl, five. Okay. Leonid Yanovsky, Din Israel. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. That's pretty good that you understood half of my patois. When will Mike Mattiso get in the Hall of Fame? If they do one per year as they have been, he will, won't get in. There's just too many people that are more qualified than him. They would have to go to two players and then a builder every three years, which was my idea. Bomba Clyde is boy gone. Talk about me accent right just so. Uh, yeah, Mike Mattis, so he can't get in. Like, look, think about it. Look at all the other people. Josh Arias, Jeremy Osmus. Like, it's not just about... It's not supposed to be about f actual fame. It's about record, you know? And they're better. Like, Brian Rast was a shoe-in this year. You guys played all high-stakes online, live, cash, mix, tournaments, wins the fucking... What did he win? The, uh, he won the 50K twice, Poker Players Championship. Thirty six remain. I know he has an ace, guys, on that hand. It wasn't about the ace. It was about the price I was being laid to catch a 3, 4, or 5. You're getting 5 to 1.
35 left. A decent structure in these $1,500 millimakers. Average stack, 35 bigs. It's good. I like it. It'll take a minute. 34 left. We got to bust 10 more. Or, yeah, 34 left. We got one, two, three, four, five guys under 20 bigs. So, pretty good. Lots of play left. Rose City Stud, your answer is no. God, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> buffoon. That one. Just a pure buffoon. Funny sometimes, but a buffoon nonetheless. What are we on? 34 players still. 34 players. We're just below the average. How much time do we have to jump into that 5 hundo? 72 minutes. So we're going to jump in around 5 o'clock. Hmm. But I might, if we get here, if we get done by 5 o'clock here, I'm going to play the, the 500 mini in bed. I need to relax a little bit. I don't like to stream. I mean, it's tough streaming every day, a lot of hours. I'm out of my stream grind. You know, I talk a lot. I never shut the hell up. Can be tiring a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. All right, what have we got? 22 bigs now? How'd that happen? Average sex 29. Oh, lines went up. Duh. Three times harassed. That's right. He won it three times. Phil Ivey is already in the Poker Hall of Fame. The way that we do the rules, it's you got to be 40 now. Has been for a while like that. And, you know, Phil Ivey's a first ballot kind of guy. I was as well when I turned 40 nine years ago. They voted me in to the Poker Hall of Fame. And I was like, it's weird, because I kind of, like, I sort of obviously expected it. I was like, you know, I'm obviously going to get in. I knew that. So it didn't really dawn on me. But then when I went there to the, you know, ceremony, it was kind of nice. It sunk in a little bit. 
I think Doyle and Helmuth was there and a whole bunch of people. Does the Poker Hall of Fame have a physical building? It's now in the Horseshoe where we play the World Series of Poker. Paris Valleys, that which is now Horseshoe. There is a Hall of Fame there. Okay, we're going to defend this. 10-7 of diamonds. Take a flop. All right, we got a min race. Definitely defend this. My favorite hand, and that's not it. Damn. I like it offsuit better. The last tournament I won, first place, I came second in a few this year, was in November. It was the Super High Roller Bowl, 300K buy in. I won $3.3 million, which got me out of the hole for last year. I'm going to just rip this fucking threes here. I just rip all fucking in. Little too many blinds to just rip threes, even though he's in the cutoff. That was not the flop. All in Pav in the building. Yes, Bob Canfield, I will be going home and playing it. Playing the Masters. Andrew Jones, you were just here at the Cactus Club? That's bizarre. You're right here in downtown Vancouver. What do we got? 31 players left. We got to wait for seven more. Seven. We're seven out of the money. Not that we care about the money. It would be nice to just get through the day. So then I can be done with the, these heats. Or what do you call them? Heats? Phases? Flights? I don't know. Whatever you want to. Salutare din România! Auleu! Ce faci? <laughs> Guys, I've had too many Guinness gummies. I just tried to click fold for Daniel. <laughs> Can you change the lighting? No. No, I'm good. My lighting is good. I don't care. You want to see my face? Here. You want to see my face? How's that? What if I do this? The whole time with crazy eyes. I'm comfy, okay? Here, I'll sit up. How about that? Better? Sit straight. Eight's full. Wow. Against the flush.
What was that emoji I just saw? Oh. I think you're right, Dan. I think I'm going to make it in the last 24 today. But I'll tell you what. We're not going to make it with like six big blinds or something. We're going to make it with a stack. Because if even if, if I ended this heat with like six bigs or something, I would just keep playing. Because you can do a uh, biggest stack forward. So I need to get like I need to live these twenty big blinds going into day two. Another dub. Oh no, Barak is out. Bartek was chip leader, and Bartek be gone. Bartek be gone. Okay, thirty left. 30 remain, 24 move on. Will Negranu be one of them? You saw a diver in the pool? Dude diving? The stats at the table, you look around the VPEP, you see 20, 22, 27, 25, 22, 22, 20, all around 25. Pretty, pretty similar. You don't have any crazy 35 or 40s out there. We're on the low end, 22. This is just agua, straight water. Have I played with Martin Cabril? Yes. It's an awful experience for everybody else involved. He is oodles, oodles more obnoxious than anyone else you could possibly sit at a poker table with. You're going to show pocket aces, bro? Uh-uh. Bold. Of course. Come on, man. Give me the all right. Hey now, honey, honey. Honey now, bum, bum, bum. Candle3guy says, I don't see any of the people on here he's responding to. I don't know. All right, is this something we can do anything with? Uh, potentially against the small blind, the uh, late positions, we're gonna call, reassess the situation. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what's going on. Uh, 29 remain, five away from the money. It's near the bubble. You might expect the chip leader to open his game, be more aggressive. Well, we got folded around and we have an ace. So, Romania, hi there. If he limps, I'm just going to jam. Yep. Just go away. I don't know. Raising to 2.6. Hey now, honey, honey. Da -da -da. All you can eat. 
Money's close. We're almost in the money. He called. Ace 10. Okay, we need a deuce. Or a four. All right. Now no 10. Oh, oh. That could be a 10. Oh, oh. That's three across. Seven. Okay. Needed to be four. Yeah, we're good. Okay, chop it up. <laughs> Happy to have it take out there, right? Oh, yeah. Nice hand. I'll say few. Where do I say few? <laughs> we got lucky. We chopped it. It's going to happen sometimes. Ace against an ace. Called for a four. I got a four. Twenty nine remain. I want more chips. Average is thirty-four point five. I mean I wanna get in and be alive to play the day two, but it'd be nice to have a big old heap of chips. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Neet Shah from India. All right, I believe this will be done in, I'd say, about half an hour. So once that happens, I'm going to jump into the mini main. I will say bye to you guys, and I'm going to go play it in bed and relax because I'm, I, I'm, I need to lie down and chill. And It's been a day, you know. Been in there five and a half hours on the stream. We'll get to five o'clock, and then uh, I will bid you adieu, and I'll play from uh, my bed. I like laying down. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a layer downer guy. Bobby Winger in the chat on Twitch. What's up? Feel free to let everyone know that I'm your number one fan. He knows my brother, Bobby Winger. Bobby Winger, podcast listener. Chill dude. What's up, Bobby Winger? Thanks for the beer emojis. Maybe later tonight after a nap. A nizap. Actually, it's going to be close. Yeah, I think it should be done in half an hour. I mean, two more levels. Blinds will be 8 and 16. It's a big jump, the next one. We are 20 of 29. There are two stacks under 10. Six, six stacks under 15 bigs. Wiley Coyote's in there. We always see Wiley Coyote all the time, eh? Wiley Coyote. What is VPIP? VPIP stands for Voluntarily Put in Pot. And it represents the percentage of hands people play, basically. And on Blue, she is taking, 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 taking his time. It's up to him on a 7 4 3. It's a rainbow flop. He's got nothing. <laughs> no, I don't know. You want to see me play nine ball? I played snooker growing up. I'm never great at breaking in nine ball. Mike Bear asking if I'm still salty for not getting an Oscar nomination for my appearance in the Grand movie. No, but I am. When I was in the movie um, uh, Wolverine, I was in the Wolverine movie. I never got even a sniff on an Oscar. Probably, you know, it's probably some, what do you call it, discrimination of some kind. Because I'm Romanian. All right, we got a check check. Now we got a turn bet. Quarter pot. Exactly quarter pot. This chair is comfortable. It is. Just one of the hotel chairs here. Brennan is sitting out. Is he got... You yeah, having internet issues there? Rushi? Must be internet issues. Doesn't make sense. Otherwise. That's what made sense. He was tanking. It was probably internet. Now we're down to 15.6. I'm going to open. Why not? If they jam, they jam. 
All right, I'll fold. Bold Owl, number five. Yeah, I got a truck. I want a truck. Toyota Tundra in 2004. First World Series Poker Player of the Year they ever did. I won it. I was one to know. I gave that truck to my brother. I don't remember what plates I used, but that was something. 27 remain. We got to bust three more people. Dun, 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 dun. I hope I'm not one of them, right? Sitting here with the 15 bigs. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. That was a flop. Nope. Yeah, I think people are tanking right now a little bit too. I think people are tanking a little bit because we are very close to the money. Not entirely sure, you know, 42 bigs, he doesn't really need to, but. All right, we got a guy with six, eight big blinds, 10, 11. We need three of them to go bye-bye. Is this a stack worthy of a day two? 185? I'll tell you what I could do, right? I could just get through with this stack, have it, right? So now I know like, okay, we're good. I've got a stack for day two. Then I can continue to play heats and try to build a big one, right? I think that's the move, maybe. Not like crazy smart, because I don't care. I want six bigs, big deal, you know? Not to say I won't play a hand. I'm just saying it's not the end of the world to get through with 15 bigs. First of all, Adam R, I didn't have 20 big blinds. It was 18, and it was against the small blind, and I have an ace against 2.6. That is not how you define horrible. You get a lot of folds there, and you block with that ace. Especially considering my goals here, which is to build a stack. Okay, we're hand for hand? What, three away, or somebody must have went broke? Oh yeah, we're two out of the money now. One guy has 1.3 bigs. Another one has 6.5. So, be it. Be it. So there's two very short stacks. Well, one is super solid, has 1.3. Spielman has 6.5. Either of those guys on my table? No. And then Alan Pav is uh, the next shortest. We're sitting 20, 26. Hand for hand. Hmm. ICM. Adam thinks I give a fuck about ICM. <laughs> ICM's for poor people. Didn't they've never heard Nacho Bar Barbero say that? ICM is for re for poor people. I'm not a poor person. I'm trying to win. Big chips. ICM. Pff, ICM. <laughs> I eat ICM for breakfast. Lunch and dinner. I do have a SAG card. I just did another movie. A friend of mine, Joseph Kahn, who makes all the... Every cool view music video you've ever seen, he did it. Taylor Swift, Eminem, you know, every freaking one you could imagine. Katy Perry. I was in his Katy Perry music video. 
um, Waking Up in Vegas. I played a cameo in that. I played a cameo in all his movies. I just played in one uh, a movie that's coming out called Ick. This is going to be a really good film. You're going to like this one. He also made uh, Torque many years ago with Ice Cube. He made Detention. He made uh, Bodied, which uh, was on YouTube. Um, really cool movies. The Bodied was fun because Bodied was about a, like a white, geeky, nerdy, like college kid who wants to do battle rap, and he's sort of debating on like what he's allowed to say because you know he's white and what he can't and all that kind of stuff. So that was good. This Ick film is going to be really cool. I don't know how much I can say about it, but uh, it's it's cool. I I, I played a uh, well, you'll see. Won't give it away. Embodied, I played a college professor smoking a cigar, taking money at a poker table. In uh, detention, I was just like a newscast reporter guy, TV guy. I should have went to pee, hand for hand. Did that guy go broke? Nope. He's probably not going to play a pot. Oh, he doubled. Never mind. Oh, he's got four bigs now. Oof, big pimpin'. So everybody else, probably ICM conscious, care about making the money. I don't. I do not. But I'm not going to play 7-5 suited under the gun. the same hand do the blinds roll back on day two I don't think so no they do not roll back on day two mm -mm. I will say this though you know you average 32 big so it's not a it's not a crapshoot it's decent stacks decent size decent play decent English I speak all right <sighs> Sup the slimy IFF over on Twitch, Ying Yang on Facebook, Raphael Rug on YouTube. How do you not gain weight with all that rice? That is just silly. What does that even mean? People are... Oh, I don't want to go on a food tangent, but like... What you eat? Like, you could eat candy all day. Literally all day. You could just be like, all I ate today was candy. And it doesn't mean you gain weight. It depends how much candy you eat. If you ate, say, 1,500 calories of candy, you'll actually lose weight. It's not healthy. I'm not suggesting it. But rice is a good carb. I like it. A good health, good carb, give you energy to lift, pump that iron, you know? King and 10. Still two out of the money. A couple guys with four bigs. They are just hanging on. I, I'm not folding. I don't give a shit. King 10. I'm not folding. Not fo well, maybe if he jams. Small blind. All right. That I can fucking. I could probably move in on that. But I could see a flop too. What's better? Hmm. Take a look at Leonid. 
From Israel. Israel. Let's see if we flop a pair. Now I wish I just would have put it in pre. Maybe not. I don't know if King 10 High would have won. But he may have folded pre. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe he had it. Maybe we did. This guy's praying I that I bubble. All right, well. Everyone has the different things they like to play about, but you do you. It's called Schadenfreude, I think. When you root for people to do poorly. Yeah, we will move in here for sure. If I don't think Bald Owl will fold because he's got a big stack. He's second in chips. He should be raising here. Just going all in a lot. Yeah, smart. Apply the ICM pressure. Not on me. But pretty sure all in Pav is going to want to make the money. Bodied, yes. I was in the movie Bodied with the battle rappers. Felipe Ramos is the cheap leader of this one here. Nice work, Felipe. This will be going all in if Bald Owl folds. I don't want to play Ace Three off random against his race, so he's he's going to shove a lot here too. Well, he's got to worry about Benjamin, who's got 18 bigs. It's a little more substantial, but he might move in anyway. Oh, all right, fuck, annoying. Taking my spots, bro. All in Pav has a hand. He's debating. Hmm. I would have had to open it. Well, double gutter with ace high. All right. Super solid 2.7 bigs. Spielman 6.1. Scheffler 6.1. All in Pav 6.1. Bet Call Ray 7.9. Then yours truly 9.1. Dean Eggs. I don't want to come back with nine bigs or six bigs. I'm not doing that. I mean, listen, I'll get through, like I said. We're getting close to 5 o'clock, and we're not quite in the money. So it's going to be close. I'll jump into the mini main. Anyway. No, I mean, I don't care about ICM, but I'm not going to play dumb. Like, Ace-3 offsuit is not a good favorite against anything. It's just not a good situation. Doesn't mean I'm gonna play stupid. I'm just not gonna like make folds or like, oh, ace deuce off. The guy small mind raises. Oh, I got a fold because I see him. Fuck that. I'm gonna stick that one in his face. But if a guy goes all in, I have king eight. I'm not calling just because random. YOLO. What kind of watch is this? This is an apple, bro. I do know Alan Pavlovic. Alan Pav, GG streamer. Sup? Oh, they do roll back? I didn't know that. Ramesh Porchai says blinds do roll back a bit on day two. I was not aware. I didn't take a look. Either way, it is what it is. You I'm not playing tight, though, right? See, so you'd play a little tighter. It's not that I'm playing tight. I'm just not getting hands to play. What is this?
a decent roll. Sean White says, good luck. You're my favorite pro. If you ever come to Massachusetts, we'd love the chance to meet you. Massachusetts. 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 I don't know when I go to Massachusetts, but I'll keep that in mind. All right, we are one out of the money now. Literally one. Oh, man, I'm going to sit here with fucking 8.8 .8 bigs. Chef Fluff got four. Super Solid got 5.7. I guess it's, I don't know, some probably some value in playing normal. Playing just to get the money, I don't know. We'll just play the cards that we're dealt. How about that? Let the chips fall where they may. If we are the direct bubble, we will not cry about it at all. Won't cry. Won't shed a tear. See, what am I supposed to do? Oh, seven deuce. Oh, make a move, Daniel. All in. We got shit left. 12. He's going to get called. So we might be in the money right now. Ace, queen against jack 10. All right. We don't care, really. I don't care. Jack or a 10, we're in the money, but whatever. All right. Doubled up for Shetlef. Shetlef doubled up, doubled up, doubled up, doubled up, doubled up, doubled up. All right. Still hand for hand. We got, uh, he's doubled. Nice hand doubled. Super solid. Five big blinds. Bet call raise six. Willie Coyote, 7.3. All in path eight. And then yours truly with 8.6. I'm for sure the one that would be the most likely to bust of that group. Just saying. Because I'm most likely to play. Thanks, Nathan Sagardracha. Sagardrasa. Tomorrow's stream, I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't know what time. Probably around the same time. Hopefully we get this done before the break. Oh, okay. See, I told you. I'll play the cards I'm dealt. So we're guaranteed to get action here unless, like, bald owls just, like... <laughs> I'm going to call with the aces. See what's up. All right, he's got the 10-7. It's the best hand in the deck, 10-7. Told you. Oh. Okay, it's face. Ha, <laughs> I hit the three. Lucky me. Now we got chips. Phew. Running hot. Okay, that's a good stack. 18 bigs. Le vedem in Bahamas, Daniel. It's not, it doesn't work that way, right? The final hundred will be played in Bahamas. But we're not in the final hundred. We got to play day two on the 11th here online. Then, then we get down to the final hundred. And we finish on December 4th. So it essentially acts like a three-day event. All right. I don't think we're likely to be the next out anymore. But theoretically possible because uh we'll play all right so this is just a jam because he is going to be icm conscious i do not care but he has to fold he 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 folds see this is the thing like i'm not icm conscious but when you know your opponents are well you have to take advantage of that right and he's not doing the wrong thing he's making the right move for, from a financial perspective, but actually so am I, oddly enough. So now we're doing pretty good, actually. The, the goal was to have about 20 bigs, at least. Got one minute till break. Hopefully it ends soon and I'll jump into the... You know what? For you guys, I'll jump into the 500 and I'll play for a little while. Why not? Hmm. Done for the day. Done for the day. Or maybe not. Let's just clean a shit here. 
All right, we finished 13 out of 100, 13 out of 200. We had 19.7 big blinds. Close. That's going to be it for me, guys. That was fun. We made it to day two of the Millie Maker. All right, so that will be September 11th. Tomorrow, September 4th, we may, it's either going to be... We're going to try to get in this mini main, mini main event. Try to get in there tonight. But I won't. I'm gonna, not going to stream that part. I'm just going to play that now on my own in bed. And if we don't make it, tomorrow might be an off day. All right? So, so that, yeah. All right, guys, it was fun. It was a little bit turbulent day. Didn't do so well in the, we didn't do well at all in the flip and go, even though we came 50th. But we're in. We made it through on the Millie Maker. So now my chance to go play the mini main 